Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. The Hezzy is here. Yes, sir. Big Hezzy. Yes, sold sir. out Hezzy. Mm. Yo. Two shows sold out Hezzy. We out Toronto. Sure. Thank you. Toronto, thank you so much. That was unbelievable, man. We <laughs> added another show. They blasted through that one and they got me feeling crazy right so now. So what do you so do now after you add two shows in Toronto? You just Those are the shows. That's what we want to do yo, right Yo, you there. ran Drake out of the city for the summer, yo. What happened? Wow. He had to leave? He went on tour. Drake said he going on tour. He said he's not coming back till October. Oh, wow. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, my bad, man. No disrespect. You Crazy. Know what I mean? All disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, yo, thank you for making room, Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? We got a special guest, our guy, Loon. Hey. Uh, from the It's Up There podcast. What's yeah. up, my brother? Man, good, baby. How you doing? Loon has been having some uh, fantastic conversations and... In, in our culture for a while now. Yes, sir. Somebody that I've been paying a lot of attention to. And I'm happy to have you here, man. Man, I'm blessed, man. I feel good. I think uh, my partnership, it means a lot to me. You know, I want to thank you too on camera because in particular in our market, a lot of people talk, a lot of people say I put people in position, I pass the ball, I'm about to assist. You actually, you actually are someone that gives a person a jersey and put them in the game. So I want to thank you for that. Yeah, man. Looney is uh it's up there podcast is now uh, available via the Black Effect iHeartRadio hey. Podcast Network. Hey. You know? Bravo. Lo Looney's our, our latest partnership, so I'm happy to have that. You know, cause you know we needed we need more culturally uh culturally in tune podcast out here. For sure. Mm. You know? I think it's a lot of misrepresentation, misinformation, so. That's what Loon talks to me about all the time. Loon is always like, uh, we don't give out enough information. Yeah, What does man. that mean? Well, for me, right, being on the outside of the game and breaking in, I know all I had was these conversations. Mm. Right? When you can't reach an Andrew Schultz, when you can't reach a Charlemagne the God, you literally have these type of conversations and that's all you left with to develop in the dog. And so a lot of people are developing in the dark. And if we have these conversations in front of those individuals, I think it really lights the way for them. Mm. Let's get to the shits, Looney. Sure. What, to, what are some of the conversations that's missing? Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit going on. Which way you want to start? Wherever you are, so, it's the pod. We can take right. it in the direction. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I know when I I know we've been having this conversation about um YouTube. Patreon, ads, um, I know a conversation with Wallow and Gilly came up about how they accept ads and different things like that. I'm always interested in that conversation. How you feel about ads? Ads for what? For the pod, whether it's audio, video, because oh, I know- I love it. Right, you're operating a little bit different than what's happening in, in, in hip hop market, right? So we have two different kind of business models. You got somebody who's saying Patreon is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Ads mess up the user experience. I think that's a cop-out, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that, too, if I couldn't get ads. Right. That's what I mean. I believe yeah. that to be a cop-out. It's like dudes who are like, I love fat bitches. Yeah, yeah. It's cap. <laughs> What's wrong with fat? <laughs> they they are too set like fat girls. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you eat, you eat where you can hunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what, though? I, I will, um, I can see that both ways, and i tell you why. I feel like there's, what, what, you're, uh, what, what he's essentially saying, I guess, is there's a subscription-based model. Right. And then there's... An ad-based model, right. you know what I'm saying? Like Netflix is a subscription-based model. Disney yep. Plus is a subscription-based model, you know? Um, traditional television is an ad-based model. Not even just, there's, there's streaming services that have ads and stuff. I think, I think yeah. Amazon, Amazon Netflix. definitely has ads. Netf Netflix. Netflix got ads now? Yep. Hulu, Hulu right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, really, okay. Everybody has an option to go with the ad. Yeah, I think you yeah. can do both. Yeah, right? I think you can do great. both, do both. If you have content that people want to advertise on and you are cool with those advertisers and then you deliver that content in a way that where your consumers still want to watch, then you're good to go. So let's get into a little bit into the weeds. So what they're saying is that most people, and I, again, with you, Schultz, and with you, both of y'all operate at a high level, so it's a little bit rough to understand it, but they're saying that the podcaster usually doesn't have any say-so over the ads. So someone just presses a button as to, hey, we putting ads on your show. Chris Moreau, that's not true. I can tell you that's not true. 
Uh, it's you know that's not the case in a lot of our experience. I mean, I think everyone admits that the most effective ads are the ones where the host really feels a connection to it and isn't just reading off a sheet of paper. I oh, think what yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, go go. No, but I mean, I think what you're referring to is the rise of dynamic insertion, right? Right, where that's you have these pre-recorded insertion. ads. Yes, that that's you can more get. on YouTube, though, right? No, no some podcasts they're doing that too. in audio. And so that's that what, does that does happen in YouTube. Yeah, that, that, that's the difference between oh, like YouTube. when YouTube will just put ads into your thing, uh, into your content, right? Like they they could just do that. But there's also starting to do that. I think in some podcasts, not on YouTube versions of the podcast, but for audio, exactly. they can kind of mix and match inside. E- ESPN it. does it a lot. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, but in terms of like choosing which brands you want to partnership with, I mean, that's just you just have to have a close relationship with the people that are even selling the ads. So I'm saying And, and you'll 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 see too, even with Black Effect, like you know, Black Effect, we um, you know, we 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 advertise as a network. So, right. you know, we'll we we bring in four, five big Fortune five hundred sponsors and then we even come to you and ask you, hey, do you even do you want to advertise? That conversation. One of these? You know yeah, what I'm saying? If I've you, had that conversation. Yeah, yeah, if you if you don't want to do it, we're not gonna you say, hey, Looney, you know, you should you should read this. You right. know what I mean? And so some people think that it's just as simple as I've even heard big podcasts that say, all you got to do is hit a button. Like, I know what that projection is. All I got to do is hit the button. And again, he's talking, they're talking about the dynamic insertion of ads. Do you think that ads that are not read by Andrew Schultz for flagrant or less effective? Li- yeah. Or affect the listenership? Like they say, man, I don't want to hear. Like I'm, I don't want to hear that. Like I don't want to hear. I that. love an Andrew Schultz blue chew ad. Me too. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's good. I mean, we're I try good, to make great. it. I try to make everything entertaining. Like it's, it's almost like, for example, if you, if you're posting a, a show, right? You got a show coming up, right? And you're posting on Instagram. You could post a flyer, which is going to be the most boring version of that, right? It's going to hit the least amount of people. Right. The algorithm's not going to pick it up. Or you could try to make that promotion also a piece of entertainment, so that the people who are consuming it, you're like using their time in a in a good enjoyable way so i think if you could do that with your ads on a pod that's great too some companies are more strict and they were like yo just read it like this and we always tell them hey give us an opportunity let me be silly with it let me be goofy because that might be more effective and then it's more fun for me i don't want to just read the copy exactly that way and to chris's point that's why i don't i'm not doing no advertisement unless i've actually used the product I'm not one of those people. If you hear me talking about something, it's because I've done, I've, I've actually used it or I fuck with it. That's why I think the best the best things that move are the, are, are ad reads. But also, man, when you just randomly like when we're here just randomly talking about a TV show yeah. or just randomly yeah. talking about something we ate or randomly talking about a restaurant, yeah. see, those people will tell you they'll see that shit spike book sale, whatever it is, because yeah. they can tell like, oh yeah, that person absolutely uses said product. Right, right, right. You know? I go to thinking about that, man. Like, so for YouTube, I think that the ad thing, you make good money with it, right? But for podcasting, people are saying they they press that button because, again, these these uh, sites, these hosting sites are now allowing people to kind of just insert these ads all the way back into all of their podcasts. And then I think people like coming out and saying, yo, this is uh, affecting the listenership. I believe that, like I said, I believe that to be kept. I don't think that's true. I mean, he, I, guess, I guess his model is more subscription-based, especially if you're on Patreon, right? Right. right? But why, why not get both? Like, when I look at y'all, like, why not do both, right? Why not take the ad from the company over here? It makes no sense. Yeah, especially if you have product that you're, you know, putting out in front of the paywall and product you're putting behind the paywall. Yeah, that's if what If you I'm got saying. product you're putting in front of the paywall... You get to add dollars from that, and the stuff that's on Patreon, Stays it's on Patreon. Yeah, I don't get it. I really don't. I swear I don't get it. I don't get it. I heard you, though. One more thing. I heard you speak about academics. I want to talk about that a little bit. Sure. I think academics... I what did Lo- I say? Looney gets right to it. I love it. Yeah, you said you said that... Um, first of all, I think last week you said you could do comedy. Yeah, I think he could do it. Tell me more. I just find him funny, and I, th- I find his takes good, and I find like his use of words good. Economy of words. I think not you- just economy, but like specific words that he chooses to use and the metaphors that he kind of builds. Like I think he's a funny guy. Comedy takes time. Don't get me wrong, but I think he has a brain for it. I don't see it. Okay. I think that okay. you're giving him a little too much. I don't know why. And I want to understand why. I think you met him at a very unique time in your life, and I think he's your doorway to the other side of the culture. 
You think he was before the no, guy? No, the, the other life? side. No, What's the no. other side? What, what, the messy, the the Chicago, the oh. the beefy, bullshitty. I never watched the Chicago stuff. But he kind of gives you insight, right? To, to he's that. my he's my news source, right? Yeah. So to the cold, to, to the yeah. other side of the culture, like he's your news source to a certain degree, right? I don't go to Charlotte for news because Charlotte's not posting news. But like for me, like on Instagram, like you know, the academics Instagram is going to pop up and it's going to tell me like what's going on in the culture. So be it messy or clean, like that's where I'm getting a lot of my hip hop news from. Same. I use them, I, I use them for the yeah, same reason. Yeah, I, I, I think he, he, he stands in that. Yeah, I think he stands in yeah. that spot, but I don't see that translating to comedy. It's not even really, in my opinion, working great in podcast. Hmm. So if you can't have a conversation, how can you? I'm just saying like, for me, I'm a comedian, right? So right. I'm looking at people. And who, I gotta trust you because you do it. Yeah. But so if like, when, if you could, he could make me be wanting to see somebody bomb yeah. too, though. Oh yeah. Because yeah. that's yeah. fun. That's <laughs> you, love, you love pain. You love chaos. <laughs> no, I just like if you make me laugh. If you're someone who can make me laugh, and I genuinely am laughing at your attempt to be funny, then I go, oh, you might be able to do this. One like, joke something that he there. said. Something that was funny. Academics did something. Oh, he said. Uh, he said. He said. Uh, he when he was getting uh, called gay by Nicki Minaj's fans, he goes, "Bro, they called me gay so much. I was like, am I gay? <laughs> bro, <Yeah>. bro, bro. <laughs> they made me question my own sexuality. Like to me, that's a vulnerable thing to say, especially when you're in the hip hop world. You gotta build that out though. Yeah, yeah, again, that's what you gotta I, build yeah, that out. Yeah, yeah, that's, what, you, what you mean? <laughs> It gotta be a yeah, that's, it got that's so you, much <laughs> to even have the nuts to go with that one line and take yeah. so Ain't much. You, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think he. I don't think that translates for me. Right. I, I just. I don't know what you think, so. No, I don't think I can do comedy. Yeah. <laughs> if, that's asking, if that's the question. Yeah. Do no. what about podcasting? Do you do you watch his podcast? What value? Because oh, I, I think, think you like him. I think he's a fantastic podcast. Okay, name me fantastic talker. Okay. I mean, like, anytime I've had him on a pod. We've probably done like three hours easy. Yeah, no, he's easy. gonna talk. He's got he got information. He's, he's gonna got talk. opinions. Yeah. Zach is entertaining. You yeah. can't, you can't, you can't, can't take, take that, that away from, from him. He's I'm not saying yeah. he's not entertaining. Yeah. But when we deal with podcasts, and I'm trying to understand the value you see, because I know you see value. Entertainment, funny, strong opinions. Um, yeah, I think that's what makes somebody good at podcasting. Like having a strong opinion and take on whatever it is you're talking about. Even if about, it's wrong. Doesn't matter. What is wrong? There is no wrong. There yeah, is there no is right. wrong. It's not, been, it's, it's been a really. feeling, it's been a feelings over facts uh society for a long time. There's now. no wrong, like when we're not we're not talking With, about physics, like we're not talking about yeah, biology. But what we're talking about like what rapper is better. There's no wrong. No, no. He does, that's not his opinion. So right. his opinions are more so. This dude snitched. He'll be the first to jump out and say, he the one that snitched when he's not from that culture. He mm. don't even understand those dynamics. He'll jump out and be the first one to say, yo, this record sales are this much. He's no longer a boss yeah. when he doesn't understand the business behind the scene. Maybe I got four new artists that are doing great. I just, I don't see him doing anything. That's, I, I that, see Looney, I see Loon, you take a lot of that personal because yeah. you come from Right. That world. And you it's affecting that world. Mm, Explain right? on that When, when he comes out and says, yo, about snitching or he makes fun of people or he does this, like, um, I've seen him. That, so there's a whole world of online shit happening, I'm sure you know. And he alley-oops those guys, right, for the messy shit. Sometimes mm. he doesn't even play messy guy, but he'll play your video in the background of him talking about the mess. And then... You know how these dudes do. Oh, really? I don't know what's going Oh, man, is that what he's doing? He's already seen this video, and it's affecting real life. Mm. Um, I'm telling you, like, even with Dirk, I give you a clear example so yeah. we can, I, can, I can really put you in position. This is, this is Lil Dirk? Yeah, Lil Dirk. Okay. Lil Dirk just did an interview, right, yeah, with academics, yeah. three yeah. and a half hours. Yeah. I'll leave off the conversation somebody went to sleep two hours in. Oh, wow. Wait, who? Sleep. Somebody just watching, like how Chris and... Just they fell out and they had to put them out the room. That's why I'm telling you. Could have been drugs. Could have been drugs. I'll give them that. But I'll, I'll say. You know what keeps you awake? What? Drinking pee. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Learn that from academics. See? Yeah. I drink pee? No. 
Dirk, apparently. <laughs> you didn't see that? Oh, no, I did see that. Yeah. He, oh, yeah, yeah, the Kevin right. Gates line. Yeah. I thought he said he was talking about Prometheus. P.O.P. He, so what he said was... He's talking was, about, yeah, lean, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. What he said was, I'm down to drink. took it as, as urine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? Way more fire. So he said that uh, India, know I'm drunk, <laughs> India know I'm down to drink pee. But then after that, he said, oh, pee, mix it with the lean. So what he was saying was pop mixed with lean. But yeah, if you I think Kevin you. Gates, you're going to think it's obviously Right, that's how, he, that's how he, yeah, yeah he, 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 he mixed it in. Little bar. Yo, yeah. drinking pee is kind of wild, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely wild. Who was the boxer used wild to drink form. pee? Say again? Wasn't it a boxer used to drink pee? Who was that? Oh, uh, it was a Mexican dude uh, who, was, who was fighting um He used to smoke cigarettes and shit? No, no, different guy. The, it, the Mexican dude that was fighting Floyd. Oh, fuck. What is his name? God, 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 God. I forgot his name. Marquez. He done fought so Marquez. Marquez. Yes. Marquez. That's who yeah. it was? Marquez. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, okay. No, no, no. Now, you see you, the example. Oh, yeah. So, the example is this. All right. Lil Durk. He interviewed Lil Durk. Yeah. Lil Durk has real problems in his city. Like, yeah. real beef. Not, not some internet rap shit. Yes. He then went... Yesterday, a couple of days ago, and reached out to a guy that's a part of the other side. The ops. He's gonna really bring him on and amplify everything he's saying about dirt. Oh wow! And that type of thing is dangerous. And that's what I mean when I say it's affecting real life. It's not content, but I believe they're so fanned out that they're chasing. They really want to know. Is the other guy a rapper? The other guy ain't even. I don't know if he raps or not. He's not a notable rapper to be right behind Lil Dirt. You know what I mean? It's like Lil Dirt. Lil Durk just came on there basically saying, listen, man, I'm tired of the beef. I really ain't, I ain't really doing all that. Academics keep rapping back around to the beef. The oh, so you think he's fanning the flame? Yes. Now, that's an interesting argument. Now, are what do you feel about artists that also fan the flames? I, I think that they have to deal with the results of fanning the flame. But doesn't act also? No, that's the point, because he won't come out. When he went out to Roots the other day, you seen... I mean, of course, he probably had some people at some point, but that speaks to his value in real life. When we deal with him on the Internet, I'm almost ready to say it's all cap because I can't see any value in real life. Yeah. But what I'm I, I did not know that you were going to go in on I'm that. not even going. I, is that going in? <laughs> is this going in? <laughs> yes. I don't think you're going in. Who's this going in? Come I, on. Let's I'm call talking about it information, bro. Like, right, right. I ain't calling him out his name. Right. right? I ain't, I'm literally trying to help. Motherfuckers understand how to get through this thing, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. Academics is somebody that fan in the flame. What do you say to that? Do you do you believe that or do you? I I'll be honest with you. I don't care. I know because you don't have to <laughs> I do it. Could not give a flying fuck. <laughs> but like I, I, again, because it's not affecting me directly. Right. Like I'm a very passive consumer of, you know, the, what is it, drill or whatever it is. Like it's got a. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You gotta yeah. collab with like Ed Sheeran show, and then show, all. Yeah, Schultz, don't, Schultz doesn't understand the stakes or the things that stake, situations yeah. like that could lead. I'm also to. not even invested in the music enough to know who's, you know, at stake. It's not like I'm this like consumer of drill and then I'm just ignorant to like the real murders and stuff that are going yeah. on behind the scenes. I'm not even like the consumer of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and I'm not either, to be honest. But yeah. I understand it, and the, I'm also the reality is we we do fan the flames, which is yeah. which is uh, you know why I've 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 definitely taken steps back from doing that that kind right. of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like life. you know, like I know either way that type of messaging is gonna get out, but I don't want to be the platform that leads to something else. You know what I mean? And by the way, these are conversations I've been having for a while now. Like whether yeah. it's with. A, a Vlad or a Ak or a us at Breakfast Club. Like, yeah, we do have to be uh, very aware of what we put fuel on. And it's not that. And, we, and whether, whether we know we're putting fuel on it or not. Yeah, right. Sometimes just providing that person with a platform is putting the fuel exactly. on it. And that's why uh, I always say, I, I, go, I, I can go yeah. back to like, I remember having a conversation with an artist and I'm like, well, where the music at, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you just want to come on to, to beef. To go at somebody. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, nah. And I, I hate when I get those calls. When you get those calls from people like, yeah. yo, man, such and such wants to come on the show. You know they beefing with such and such right now. Like, well, man, nah, that's, that ain't enough to be on the show, bro. I think yeah. that's the tricky nah. thing. It's like beef is the lowest common denominator for attention, right? Like, beef is like the male version of titties. 
It's like if a girl wants people to look at her or pay attention to her, she just got to take out the titties. Right. Yeah. And men don't have that. But we got beef. We got fighting. Yeah. Right? So what we got to do is get attention. We got to start fighting. That's what we have. I don't mind real issues. Like right. if you, if you, you ain't even involved in the beef. So. Like how you just said, you said Loon is going that act. I didn't, I don't think of it as that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I get right. where... You can people can have that perception, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But we didn't, ex yeah. we didn't expect that. We didn't, nah, and I, you know? I'm just talking about. I didn't expect it because last week, you, <laughs> listen, no, nobody expected it. Last week, you had just said he could yeah. be a comic, and I'm like, yo, man, shows really like this guy, and I want to really understand why. But like, I genuinely, really like him. I know, I genuinely yeah. want to know what value you see. You say entertainment. Low hanging fruit. We just agreed that the beef shit is the lowest level of the entertainment. That's where he lives at. But I don't think that's where he lives at for me. Right. You know what I mean? Like I love seeing, I love, I love seeing actors drunk on the stream going, the top five rappers are Drake, 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 Drake. Like I just like seeing him go loose. I don't care about Fanny you're the Flame with these, yeah, whatever. You're defending you know what your mean? boy, and, and it's not a beef thing. I want to be clear but on that too. But that's another thing about me is like I will defend the people that yeah. I like. He's Shout entertaining though. Yeah. You can't act like yeah. academic and it's not, is not I don't want, I think you feel like there's a beef. There's not a beef. I'm saying that there's not a beef. There's a curiosity to understand exactly where he sits at. I just don't see everything that you see. So I want to I know you're a guy that can articulate well. But I think I think maybe you're more you have more of like an emotional reaction to it because you're more entrenched in the repercussions of what, what he of what he's fanning. Yeah. So maybe you have a more personal connection to that whereas for me, I'm not even understanding what's going on. You see what I'm saying? He's like, looking at it on a surface level, just it is it's funny. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Like, like, like it, to me, like the rap shit, like when people, the idea of like beefing with someone and also rhyming while you do it is like super gay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I if I don't, don't like you, if I don't like you, I'm not gonna be like, uh, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fuck you. I might snuff you. Yeah. 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 Or <laughs> suck you. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just, it's just to me, it's like the most goofy shit, right? You it's know what's like, so funny about that? To. I love these different perspectives, right? Because show sees it as just entertainment. You see it as the damage it could cause in the street. I really I, hate this guy. I need to write a poem. But listen, I see you know, it. Like, it's I, just so weird. I, 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 see, like, I see both those perspectives and I add another one. I see worry sometimes. I'm like, God damn, Mac, you going kind of yeah. hard on those people. They, like, yeah. they, yeah. they make the ones to be, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Those, yeah. those not the people to be playing with. Yeah. So I can see all of the different, I see all of those different perspectives. Yeah. I, for me, like, when I say the the low hat, like for me in my in my career, I've been very fortunate. I've been very blessed. Where like I can create comedy and I can create art that people consume and enjoy. And I think because of that, I haven't gravitated to as much beef because I don't need to do it for none. Yeah. Lean on yeah, it, and I yeah. think people who can't really create d tend to destroy. And because Ooh. destruction is often something that we all want to watch, right? Like even when you're a child, you like you watch a building get bulldozed or something like that, right? It's just naturally this is what we see when we, we enjoy it. So I personally do think that Ak is a great creator. I see him make content. I see him build up what his content? platform. I can't let you say that. Because what content has he made? What catalog does he have? You have flagrant. You have comedy shows. Right. He has Black Effect, Breakfast Club. Well, he has his podcast. He has, he has YouTube. His stream. He has that's YouTube. That's nothing. I, that's what I am. I'm on YouTube. No, 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 no. You're, You're not on YouTube. I am shows. On YouTube. You just I'm a took proud something. YouTube creator. Me too. Let's not shit on YouTube. Yeah, like yeah. yeah we just got on YouTube. But, but, but no, 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 no. I love YouTube. I think, but I think you you don't give yourself enough credit because yeah. you're, you're a great stand up. And you and you, and you use that you put true. your That's stand up art. on YouTube. That's why I always say YouTube is a digital billboard. I even with the the, the turn your camera sideways. Yeah, that could, that clearly that could have lived anywhere because it ended up on Netflix. Exactly. It's my choice to put it on these yeah, places because exactly, I want to exactly. be where the most eyeballs exactly. are. Like so, if YouTube is the MoMA, right? It's if it's the Met, it's the greatest museum. I want to be at the museum where the most people can see my stuff. How long do you think that has before that's no longer the greatest museum? Well, something else would have to replace it, and at this point right now, I don't see what could. I mean, it's the fastest growing platform yeah. on the planet. I'm curious. It's you don't, you don't look at ACT as journalism, even though it's like the TMZ No, because he doesn't know what he's talking about. And how do I know that? Because I'm I'm from where everything he's talking about. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know how TMZ kind of just reports on all the messy? Right. So, like, there is a marketplace for that style of journalism. 100%. So I feel like that would be what he created. If it was just news in the way that TMZ would just... 
Rapper such and such arrested over there. He adds, oh, his this dude too. is okay. a snitch. He's a truth teller. This guy's a this and this guy's a that. Uh, he never has to deal with those things, right? And the truth is the truth, and it don't care who tell it. So I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he doesn't know what the truth is. Gotcha. Yeah, and I don't even know why, why why you should get involved in those conversations if you're not yeah, from that world. you're not like even I, from that I world. I have no reason to That's call somebody point. a snitch. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know it's what not, I mean? Listen, like, the why? Chicago, the, I don't care. Yeah. Like, people ask me, like, all the time, what do you think about gun and snitching? Why do I think about gun and snitching? I don't have nothing to do with that world. But that's we were where on the end of the day, we were talking about think, the Y and Melly case. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what's going on with them young boys. Yeah. I have no idea. I think people are, are gravitate towards uh, hypocrisy when they see it, no matter what it is. I think that might be the frustration when with the snitching, even for someone that's, who is not in the world, right? They're looking at someone who might have portrayed an image of themselves and then didn't live up to it. I think we do this with politicians a lot, right? They're like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do all these things to help and I'm gonna be there for everybody. And then and they don't, we go, ah, look at you. But here's the thing, you got, if you really come from it like me, you know not to believe the rap niggas. You should, you should, be, uh, say, you should, be, say, you should be saying that before they you snitch. see, uh, when you come from where I'm from, <laughs> you know oh my bad, Careful. when you come from where I'm from, you don't even believe them to start with because right. they, own a, they own a mic talking like this. Yeah, if you really committed a crime, when you When you come from this it. life, you yeah. don't even give credence to that, especially the fan, and then you putting people in situations where they don't got no choice but to rat, because they don't know no better. They don't know no different. So you helping push these guys into these situations where they have no information. Now, if they just sitting in Chicago rapping by themselves, and you don't amplify them, it goes nowhere. So they now, they, now they not having to be in Atlanta with a gun. They never got booked in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Right, but because now you're posting them and you're endorsing them, now it takes them on the road. It takes that show on the road without the information mm. to go with it. Mm. You see, they've never lived that the rappers, and he's the person that I. But be again, I believe it's obsession with rappers. So he believes mm. the rappers to had done everything they say. I know different. I know rap niggas got to come to me to get money to get jewelry, to get certain things. So you don't, again, coming from the culture, you start understanding that ain't hip hip hypocrisy. That's what he going to do. Hmm. That's what that rap boy going to do. He ain't you're never been surprised. in no trouble. Yeah, you're not surprised. If you, 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 oh. you can see that when you go back and you watch like uh, watch like watch Breakfast Club for a 6 9 interview. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. I'm telling him that's where all well, of this I, is going to lead. I think what's happening right now in, in hip hop is kind of like what's happening right now in politics where like for years we believed these politicians, mm -hmm. we believed there'd be change, and now with the internet there's a little more transparency where we're like, oh, they're just lying to us, and no matter what they say, nothing's actually gonna change and nothing's gonna be any different no matter which party is yeah. there. Right. And maybe we're see feeling the same thing with hip hop, we're like, oh, they don't actually kill all these people, oh, they're not actually these big bosses selling these drugs, or the ones that are becoming successful aren't because the ones that really do it get arrested always, or killed immediately. I will not make it that far doing it. You I can't always, live that double life. That's right. right. I always knew that just because like if you had committed all of those crimes that you said you did, you would not be out here. Right. <laughs> well, didn't, didn't Ak, I think I've heard Ak say when he was on our pod, I think he was echoing those same sentiments. He's like, these these rappers are not living their raps. And I think that was one of the things well, he here, was Well, here's the out. thing, because if I say that the rappers by themselves, everything is a lie, then I'll be lying, right? So what happens is the rappers act as a mascot for the team, mm. right? So there is a team of things happening. There is real reality behind those lyrics. It just ain't from him. Mm. Now what act does in these guys from YouTube, they place those guys in the situations that their team can handle. Mm. Those guys can't handle that situation. And so again, when you look at it, you say, yo, Hey, he ain't never been arrested. Well, you think he gonna go face life and not tell? Hmm. I know that just looking at it. But when you don't come from it, all you see is a rapper, all you hear is what he say, and you don't understand that, yo, bro. Maybe the greater question we should be asking ourselves is why do we feel the need to live vicariously through these people? Mm. Do we? Yeah. Or I do we just enjoy the entertainment? Like we enjoy gangster movies. Uh, no, you know I mean? because I think that's the thing. Like you watch The Godfather and you're like, man, I wanna be in the mafia. Never you know, thought that. Oh, you're you're not a white guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> never, never no, thought that. But like, there's certain like even like when you play that Meek Mill "Dreams and Nightmares" song, right? It's like, like you're going through your whole life, your journey. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was yeah, finished? Yeah. Whatever, you know why? No, that's a, that's a Bro, great point. I, when I play but, Frank Sinatra, that's life. That's right. Yeah. But, but you know why? Bro, it's the same shit. Because like, the storytelling shows. Shot down in shows. April, 
Oh no, what is it? Uh, that, uh, wow, I'm fucking up the lyrics. Because of the storytelling. Get... Yes. When Meek Mill starts off the song by saying, I used to pray for I times, used to, like, times this. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as the soon as like you this. hear that. Even yes. the tone of it. It's like he's building you up. I don't care what your field is. As yeah. soon as you hear, I used to pray for times like now this. Now you locked into your dreams. Whoa. Yes. Your, your, your dreams. Ooh. And it's like, yes. there's a way that, yeah, it just elicits these feelings. And we do want to be a bad motherfucker that everybody in the neighborhood fears. We do want to be a capo. We do want to be the, the head dude, the head boss of the family. We do want to be fucking Frank Sinatra. Like, we want to be the underdog that slays the dragon, right? We want to be David and like, Life is a Goliath, and anybody that's able to slay the Goliath, we want to be that person, right? Do we it, want? Do we want every? I, I agree with it's everything. It's like a you Marvel say. movie, really, in, in that way. Like we're playing these, we're using these people as characters for our own selfish desires. Mm. So there's do something we want, with us too. I agree with everything you said, at. but do we want more so instead of like this, forget, forget the crime? Do we just want the structure? The organization, the power. I think we want the, the emotional component. Uh, yeah, I think we want the emotion. Like the way that you watch a Marvel movie and you go through those emotions and you see uh, Captain America get his ass kicked, but then still stand up to Thanos. You're like, that's what I wish I would do in that moment. Going against all odds, I wish I would be there and fight in to the death. And then all the homies show up and we start fucking them up. I'd be thinking like, yo, imagine having no superpowers and having sex with a woman that don't have superpowers. Wow. Man. That's what you think about it. <laughs> yeah, I always thought about that. Why with wouldn't Wolverine. you want a woman to also have superpowers? Because could a could a could a regular woman take super dick? Mm. Bro, sometimes I think I have superpowers when I'm fucking li like I think I'm, what, yeah. I'm really I'm like, am I the flash? Like <laughs> <laughs> I be feeling like the Hulk. Man. Do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, feel, a, I'm a grower, not a shower. Yeah, are you mm. really? Absolutely. Wait, when you get hard, your dick gets bigger. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, what's you that ain't like? got the same size. What's that, that like? like? My, yeah. Mine gets smaller when I'm hard. <laughs> Amen. Oh, my By the way, oh, we don't man. talk about that oh, enough. Man. Listen, oh, listen, listen. With the Avengers, every single one of the Avengers, you can turn into a, a porn name, yo. Okay. All of them. Okay. Think about it. Yeah. Iron Dick. Iron Dick. The okay. Incredible Dick. Yeah. Mighty Dick. I think Black just, dick. Hey, I think you're just putting dick. <laughs> dick, yeah. Like, uh, Captain Dick. I think you're just putting dick at the end. Does then that make it a porn name? <laughs> just, I, I'm yeah, yeah. Sure just putting dick. Then you can do micro yeah. penises, ant dick. Ant dick. Spidey good. dick. Spidey dick. You know what I'm saying? That also works for anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, if you just put dick after it, like postman could be post dick. You yeah. know what I mean? Like post bartender dick. dick. Bar dick. You can really take any job and put dick But it don't have end. that adjective, though. Okay. You, know, you know what I'm saying? The incredible yeah. dick. Yeah. Mm. That's what you want a girl to say. Yo, he gave me some mighty dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine yeah. looking at a girl's phone and under that phone, your name is Captain Dick. Captain Dick is kind of fire. Kind of fire. <laughs> Captain Dick is kind of fire. <laughs> Listen, I want to go back. I'm to glad you have only girls. Because <laughs> I can't imagine what you would name your boy. I just cannot imagine. I actually, what I was going to name my my last two girls, I named them what I would name a boy. Really? Yeah. What'd you name them? I'm not saying. I'll tell you afterward. But I, yeah, my last two girls, I named those names because I didn't know whether they were going to be boys or girls. So I had the name already because the name means more to me than, you know, what the gender is. The name is destiny, right? The name so, is destiny. God bless. But I want to go back to something y'all said about YouTube, right? And it's a conversation we had a couple of weeks ago. I want you and Act to be besties. Me no, that would be. A, I think they'd have a great conversation. Yeah, I think you guys would have a fun. I combo. think Act and Lou would have a great conversation. Me and Act is is okay, you know. I um I don't see. I don't have really have interest in sitting with him. I don't find Why not? value. I literally don't find value in what he does. But but here's the tricky thing: is that I think you guys would have a good conversation because uh, you're very passionate about your perspective on this thing and you feel like you have a completely different perspective than him. The tricky thing is sharing opinions like that about someone and then being like, I don't really want to sit down with them. Yeah. I feel like that's unfair. I could sit on your face card, I'll sit with him. What about what about you guys just having like a cool combo? I because you never know. Maybe, maybe there's growth from that. Maybe it's like, oh shit, I First see where all, he's coming listen, from. Listen, don't you know, little baby them is that them my guys, yeah. them my people. Oh, oh so yeah, you would yeah, feel yeah, disloyal. Yeah, right, yeah, right, them my right, real baby. people. Like, right, yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see. So I see, it's see, like see. you know, even with that, like. So it's it's a loyalty thing, which I respect more than a. I don't want to talk to a person I disagree with. Right. No, you I just had to anybody. Lord, I just had the dude that did the King Von documentary, and we went back and forth about him combo. calling King Von a serial killer. Oh, wow. And I had to explain to him, bro, you you don't you you can't do that without any evidence. You can't uh, can't call him in a serial killer. 
And Trap again, Lord Ross academics. Said he he was about Fruit Loops. <laughs> what? That's what Trap Lord Ross said. He said, I was talking about Fruit Loops. No, he didn't say yes. that. <laughs> hey, this dude is. Yo. <laughs> yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> you can't call another man Fruit Loops, bro. That's crazy. That's disrespectful. It's disrespectful Very. as fuck. That might be like, oh boy. Yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Wait, is this beef or whatever? What? But like I say, bro, you know, for egg, if we, you know, like I say, his his whole thing, I don't see the value. If I saw value in it, maybe I'll sit down because I'm a general, right? Yeah. Baby them know I'm a general. Yeah. They know I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. So it ain't no 10 on me, right? But it's like, bro, I don't see what you're doing and you done that. What does 10 on me mean? I mean, ain't no... Um, Lies are surrounding me. Got gotcha, you. Know gotcha, what gotcha. I say? Okay. Yeah. Anytime you need an update about, <laughs> any, uh, yeah, yeah. I need subtitles. Yeah, yeah, Looney yeah. Little yeah, baby, yeah. that's a great, uh, great podcast. If you haven't checked that yeah, out, I remember that when you. I remember when you first posted. I hit yeah. you up when you first yeah, posted. Yeah, you that. Did, that you did, you did, you did. Yeah. yeah, I just like when people have these conversations with each other because I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of that kind of gets cleared out. And then also the people that are following you and really understand what you're saying and also following Ack and understanding and defending him and believing what he said, they also get a more like 360 view of the topic. Right, right. And I think that everybody kind of grows from that. Right, yeah, yeah. And I agree with that. I agree with yeah. that. It's just, I find it rough because of his position on certain things. Well, now you have a loyalty thing which makes right, it tricky. as well it's like, as my guy. It's like someone talking about my mom and yeah. now I gotta sit down right. with the dude like I don't really right. wanna sit across the yeah. dudes talking shit about yeah. my yeah. mom yeah. you know yeah. what I mean yeah so that's it's like that if it wasn't for that I'd have been told Charlemagne get him somewhere and let me holler at him. You well, know? that sounds terrifying. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what? I don't that, that just I, sounds I, absolutely I don't, terrifying. I don't think that internet. I don't think that. I don't internet. ever want you to say that about me ever. <laughs> hey, tell Schultz, get him somewhere. <laughs> Where exactly? It don't really matter. Yeah. I don't I'd think. like to holler at him. <laughs> Y'all said something just now. Don't say you're a general. <laughs> just be like, That's a, yeah. get him somewhere. If you said meet him at a studio, that'd be I different. I think I'm gonna yeah. be the one hollering. <laughs> no, I, think, um, Help! I, I, I wonder about Help! I wonder about that internet audience y'all talk about sometimes yeah. too though because I think they just like to see people crash yeah, and burn. it ain't fans like if you were exactly they're I not think, fans exactly. or customers we're looking for fans and customers exactly. I think I I'm almost representative I'm on the peripheral right but I'm probably more representative of a lot of them which is this is entertainment to them completely and they're not putting like the reality and the severity of these situations on the quote unquote characters that they see. Now to be fair, like you were saying, there are also the artists that are playing into it because they are playing versions of a character, a mascot, which yes. you said, right? So you gotta let the audience all off the hook a little bit because it's like, I'm not taking it seriously, but they aren't also in terms of the character they're playing. Mm -hmm. The Ooh, audience it, This shit is layered. That's what, that's the this whole shit is point. Really layered. This is what I'm saying. And what's sad is they gonna laugh at you when you crash out. Yeah. You the, you the same person that's being the orchestrator of all well, this no, shit. No, no, no point in me with no, all this. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, now. Come on they now. They can't wait yeah. for you to crash out as well. Yes. When some bullshit happen about yeah, you, they're yes. gonna be on you the same way they're on the people that you're talking and about when how, you're talking about them. Right, and then how do you know your true value when literally your, your, your people are here because of the drama shit? Right? When you go, listen, yeah, it's so- Yeah, they're, because they're addicted to they're the addicted drama. They're addicted to it. And then they want to know, like you said, it plays a, it is a news factor there. So it is a- Oh, I want to know what's going on. Yeah, it is. What the, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, Dirk yeah. just posted. Baby yeah. just, what, what? I, I saw the P-line. Right, I and he's going to put a storyline to it that doesn't match 95% of the time. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, can, I can tell you all right now, drama brings you attention. It don't bring you- Fans, money. customers. It don't bring yeah. you money. Perfect yeah. example of that is- It brings you attention. Yes. It's like housewife shows, right? The housewife shows are incredibly popular, right? The housewives themselves don't really have fans. Exactly. People are fans of the drama. That's it. That's it. It's they a few. They can plug in anyone to do that. It's, it's and a, that's it's, why I say he has it's no It's the Patriots. Value. Right. Or whatever young But, but, but bro, it's, a few, it's, it's a few that have fans, but it's yeah. the ones that but step outside less. of the yes. exactly. show. Much the, less. The though. Bethany Frankels, the yes. Portia Williams. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? The ones that step outside of the 100%. show and find something else to do outside of the drama. Okay, I use this to get attention. Yes. Now I'm going to go figure something else out. But keep in mind, those people, which is you're 100% right, but 
when those people step outside, it's not like people stop watching the show. No, no. They still continue right. yes. watching the Absolutely. show, but they're Absolutely. also into attached this other to figure. You. Right, yes. right, yes. But you're right. When when people are attached to the drama, it's not you. It's not you. Because they could get that from it's anywhere. Wizard of Oz. Yeah, they yeah. like the fire. Yeah, they're, it's, use, it's, they're using this they fire to stay warm. To stay yeah. warm. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah, everyone yeah, has yeah, a fire, yeah, yeah. they're going to go to stay warm. And then it's yeah. it's the same that's equivalent. When you're not making art, and and I think when you make art, people become like when you have when you're honestly you know. To, 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 to credit you, like to do what Charlemagne has done throughout his career, like you're creating art, right? You are, you are creating art, you're writing bits. Like the donkey of the day thing, say it's whatever you fucking want, it's a bit it's that a you're bit. writing I've down, you're doing I've seen it in pieces, action today, right? yes. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it in action today, it's a oh, bit. Oh, who, who got the donkey of the day today? Uh, the head of Peter is Ingrid, Ingrid Newkirk. For, for what, for the Pete oh, Davidson she's thing? A man. No, Ingrid said that when she dies, she wants to be barbecued. Come on now. She said she wants to be barbecued because she said that she wants to show people this is flesh. You're not going to eat me. I'm like, Ingrid, yes, we are. <laughs> nah, we got Ingrid. Ingrid, I want Ingrid to come to the breakfast club so I can invite a chef over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, Ingrid, I promise That's Ingrid. Great. And I love you know Ingrid. Saying? Ingrid is one of my favorite people because she is so... Committed. Serious and committed yeah, yeah. to her shit. Yeah. But I promise you, Ingrid, you're inviting people to a barbecue. You're going to get eaten. Yo. E Ingrid is going to get eaten. Yeah. Guaranteed. But but that's the difference. Creating actual content and just being the person in the place to say the thing. Right? It's well, just... Yeah, I mean, that's where we would debate. Like, I think that that I think Ak is a creative as well. And I think he's creating an entertainment entertainment. Give me space. something he's created. I, I've Same given thing you like with three or four already okay, on I'm the sorry, pod. I must yeah. have missed it. What was it? I think the, the stream I, I, he doesn't own. No, but, but, but the, the... He created the, the Off the Record podcast. But not even that. Like... Being able to entertain and being a destination on stream. Like, think about how many people are streaming now, like how popular streaming is, especially in hip hop. Like, Ak is the first one to do it. And you gotta give him flowers for that. Like, before He's the first were, one in hip hop, I get, yes, before, 100%. And then it is popular now to stream, yeah. and Ak was the first one doing yes. it yes. on Twitch, yes. right? Like, yes. so I feel like he's created these lanes and he has influenced culture in that way, and you cannot do that unless you're give doing me it at a Trump high level. Bit. Give me his donkey of the day. His off the record is literally not moving culture in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. Lil Dirk did the interview there. It literally made his rounds about beef and died. Hmm. Man, how much Henny is Act going to drink to come back at Loon, bro? Bro. This going to be crazy. <laughs> hey, we talking real, like, bro, you know, I'm a general. I, whatever they say on the internet don't affect real life. I ain't tripping off that. I'm literally is, trying is, to get. What is a general? A general is someone that's shot called. <laughs> what is a general? A shot call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's a shot call. A shot call. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where, where, where is your? Uh, I'm a shot call in the culture. Or, yeah, the but culture. The, the culture. Yeah. Is there like a state or a place? No, nah, like... the culture. Okay. I, I understand yeah. what Loon is saying though, and this is what I was saying two weeks ago on the pod about. I love how vague it is. About like yeah, I think you gotta you, be vague. I, I, gets the kids going. Yeah. I think YouTube should be used <laughs> as a as a digital billboard, and I yeah. think that what Andrew has done, what you've done, is like you got to create the production. A real production. Like, this is a real production. Exactly. Yes. And then, then use YouTube. Then distribute you can't that real plant production on YouTube and on say, YouTube. hey, yes. here I am with my thing that everybody loves. You got to say, yo, I'm creating this thing that everybody loves, Absolutely. but I'm giving it to YouTube. He's, and, I'm on YouTube with this thing that everybody and, loves. And the reason I feel that so much is because that's how I've always utilized the internet. Even Let's when go. you go back to me and Duval doing Hood State of the Union or yeah. Breakfast Club, like, these are actual Productions, Entities and yeah. productions that we use YouTube yeah. to distribute. That's all I want is flagrant that we, it. I, I, yeah. flagrant it. I just want everybody to step their production level. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Well, I think you know that's, what, I mean? that's what happens as competition starts to you know be bred, right? As more people are in the space, like you look at uh, Kai, you know Kai Senate. Right. Like I think what he did is with in streaming, the stream he took it a different way. But he up production, right? Yes. He's he's creating games. He got a set, and this is not, what but I mean. But it's not only set. He's like creating he's, games. He, yeah, he's bringing people like, like, in. To me, that looks like a set. But, like I, I know, but I could see him doing that anywhere. Is what but, I'm but saying. But think about think sense. about it outside of the set. Like let's say it, whether it is or it's Just not content. a set. Yeah. But like not only that, it's creating characters, 
but also creating games. Like if you have a specific yes. person on, what are we gonna do with that guest? Yes. Yeah. The same way that you think about The Breakfast Club, with the same way that you know, we think about idiots flagrant. or I think about yeah, flagrant, yeah. right? It's like he's doing that with the stream as well. Exactly. So that's how he's up games? It. Say again? Doesn't he play games with the I think audience? His stream is utilized not to really play, vi I think he's 20, 30%. He's going through something right now too we can get into if y'all wanna kinda speak about the business side Oh, of absolutely. Um, so, so Kai just signed his deal. Uh, him and I show speed. I think it's with either Rumble. 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 Yeah, they signed the they deal. They did. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, per perfect example. Like, and I again saw this on probably academics, uh, but uh, they did this uh, their new show that's on Rumble. They they had Tiana Trump. Yeah. Is that Tiana Trump? Yes. Porn star. Yes. And then another girl. Yes. Sorry, didn't know her name. And the four of them are like camping. They're right. like in the woods. And I've seen clips of it, and it's fucking hilarious. And here's something that but can be But that's an idea sold. that they're creating. Exactly. Yeah. Here's something that can be acquired by a company. Yeah. That Twitch stream shit is, what is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's audience. Yeah. All com companies. Right. But here's, here's, here's the reality of the matter. Companies don't really care about content. They care about audience. audience. That is 100%. That's an empty field, though. Exactly. Now, yeah. But is it translatable audience? Well, I think, of course, you've seen him do it no. masterfully. I think it's a hat trick. They're not moving with him. Bro, have, have they come? Have they come have, I need a bag. Have they come to Rumble yet? I need yeah, because you're defending them. Defending yeah, you like you're defending like Bro, yeah, I need a motherfucking bag, bro. He sent him something. Has Kai bought people over to Rumble? I don't know. I don't. Um, I'm not sure if he bought people to Rumble, I, but he said his deal isn't, for some reason, they're not doing exclusive deals. They're letting them, again, because again, they're, they're more interested in audience. Because they it's want the audience them still thing. on Twitch yeah. because they can bring people over from Twitch yeah, to Rumble. The By the way, if I'm made. Rumble, it's great. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's like that. doing a licensing yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. if I was those guys, I would go run and get all of those bags. And the reason That's I would run doing. and go get all of those bags is because, to your point, I don't, you haven't said it yet, but I, I, you know what we're talking about with YouTube and all these platforms, yo, they can demonetize you in two seconds. That's the point. I sent, I, I sent Alex some shit the other day. They've been I didn't even, re I didn't even realize it because YouTube ain't my main thing. They've been striking donkey of the day. And who knows what else on Breakfast Club page for a couple of years now. You need, you need to fire somebody. Over. And the shit said, the shit said, uh, you're not necessarily violating any guidelines. They make you sign in to view it, and you know how that affects oh, it. Oh, kills it. Yeah. But we should, that's something you can figure out easily. Like, you handle that easily. I, I did. But somebody even know. at Breakfast Club should be doing that. That should be their job, making sure every single video is it's monetizable. Green. Yes. It's green. At yes. least, or what's the other one where it's like, we're not going to show that some, many ads. Uh, yellow. So one of them. Yeah. But it's like, I think what happened is they, they, they don't. They no, don't, they no didn't, age restricted. You're still. They fucked. didn't do it yeah, to the whole. It's part. limited ads. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. I don't yes. think they did it to the, yes. it to yes. the whole yes. Breakfast Club page. It's just donkey of the, Segments, the day. Yeah. No, we it's weird, right? Because like last guys. week, there might be a donkey that got like four hundred thousand views, and the next week it got like eighty thousand, ninety thousand. So what Loomis is saying is like basically. Uh, YouTube, what they'll do is they'll make you sign in in order to watch it to prove that you're like 18. Mm -hmm. But now that's not suggesting exactly. to people. And that just kills yes, the viewership. It kills yeah. it. And they, I think he's seeing that with Donkey of the Day, kind of seeing it fluctuate based on what he talks about. Yeah, because yeah, they do that. But yeah. And I, look, here's the thing. I want to be able to say whatever I want, but I also understand that YouTube has given me the greatest platform and the largest platform on the planet and an algorithm to push out the content that I create that is good. So I... I'm not gonna be a baby about this entirely. Like, I will understand the rules that you create. Once those rules stop me from creating authentically, then I have to go to another platform. Right. But I'm not out here going, oh, I should just be able to say whatever racist right. word I yeah, want. Like, yeah, yes. I think it's that's, that's a private yeah. shit. Yo, like, yo, welcome to reality. That's like, not yo, reasonable. Schultz yeah. is absolutely right, and that's why I keep going back and folks be talking about all this ownership conversation. You don't have ownership if you got a YouTube page, no. bro. Cause YouTube, you just own your creation. That's See, it. This is the yeah. difference, though. If YouTube can demonetize, if they can demonetize you when they want, if they can control your algorithm, if they can strike your page and tell you what you can and cannot say, mm. that's not a well, lot that's of not business. Ownership, yeah, but also, you an employee of YouTube. Yeah. Also, this is why, and I'm I'm gonna go YouTube till I die, right? But this is why it's actually important that these other platforms, like a Rumble or a Twitch, or a, there's another one, kind of Kick, that are coming out. This is why it's important they, that they get some market share because they can keep YouTube honest. Honest, yes. If there's yes, nothing else, yes. YouTube can go, you know what? You can't talk about politics. And every right. time you do, we're taking it down. It could be like TikTok with China. Yes. Bro, you say one thing about the president of China, out of here. What you going to do now? What you, yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. TikTok on your career. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> that's right. So but we I'm want like, that. We want that. Um, I mean, it, uh, that's, that's essentially like what uh, the free market is, right? Yes. It's competition. Yeah. So, but what I think how is how free is the market? Seriously, how free is the social media market? 
I mean, if you're, if, if, you're, if you're hitting me up about trying to get your Facebook back or getting to your Facebook or whatever, if people are hitting me up about how their videos are getting demonetized, if I'm complaining about yep. Donkey of the Day getting struck, how free is the market really? I mean, we, I think every market has rules. Like even on iHeart, you have rules that you have to stay within that they are okay with. You're like, you absolutely can't say right. So but but like, think about how many people on, online act like there's no rules. Which is re is ridiculous to me. There is definitely rules. Y'all didn't even read the fine print when you signed up to YouTube. Yeah, mm. that's why I think a lot. <laughs> bro, of you know what? I never read fine print. Nobody, right none of us have with any of these social I media think platforms. That you, they could, you could say the n word forty times in a fine print, and nobody would ever. <laughs> <read>. <laughs> bro, nobody what if we go it. to Apple thing like four pages down? It's like, yo, I bet you won't read this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like, how free is the market really? I don't think it is completely free. I don't think it is. But we have to also look at it. It's as free a business or a corporation. Right. I think when we start to look at it as like our God-given right, it's not really that because it's not in the Constitution, hey, you can say whatever you want on YouTube. Right, that's right. We can be Americans, we can say whatever we want. We have freedom of speech. Even There are even limitations with that. And I'm a pretty much of an extremist when it comes to freedom of speech. But this is a business that someone has independently developed. It's like somebody, like let's say we open a restaurant, right? We have a fucking great Italian restaurant. We're and then serving people, Ingrid, the president of PETA. Exactly. That's, That's right. what it is. That's right. <laughs> that is the first meal, yes. okay? And somebody comes in and they're, they're not wearing a shirt. And we go, hey, we, we want people wearing shirts in a restaurant. They're like, I'm free. And it's like, not, not here. Not here. Yes. There are rules. That's yeah. all now, I'm saying. Now, if we got a restaurant that's on the beach in Anguilla, we might want to move the rules a little right. bit so you can eat shirtless because people are on, on the beach. beach. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. So we just have to give and operate. take. Exactly. Yes, a little yes, bit of give and yes, take. Yes, yes. And I appreciate it. I, I don't run from it. But what I think is more important is on these platforms having something that has some replay value. That's how I judge content, right? If if it has zero replay value, to me, it doesn't add to your catalog. It really mm. means nothing. It's like- So when you're doing your interviews, you're looking at these as pieces where yes. people can go back yes. to- That's what they are. Yes, they, and 100%. yours are too. I, no, I, I, I like feel that Like when you just well, did Pat Bev. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yo, we don't just talk about Bullshit. We go back to yo. What were yeah. you doing in over in Iran, and what was that like? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's more. I, I feel like podcasts are like the new encyclopedias, where you go pull one and get you something from it, right? Yeah. You pull one, get you something from it. Yeah. You know, that's how I feel. We're, so. the, we're the first generation. And I might have got that from you. I don't know, but we're, we're the first I generation like that, to I like understand that way that. of looking at it. At like these are resources. These are pieces of information yes. that are going to exist as long as the internet it's is catalog. Out there. Catalog, yes. yeah. That's literally and what so, it is. Yeah. And it's the, we're the first generation to understand that this content we're creating is catalog. Because think about it: fifteen years ago, people weren't doing interviews the way everybody's doing exactly. it now. They weren't bringing a camera into the studio, mm. recording it, putting it up online every day. Breakfast Club, we started that. That was our, we started that 13 years ago. Our mm. first interview ever, we started doing that. Radio started doing it probably 2008. Think about how much shit you didn't see from Wendy Williams. Wow. How much you didn't see from Howard Stern. Yeah. You know what I mean? Th like, luckily, how much we you had didn't see from Angie Martinez. Howard. Yeah. But, that's, but that, you didn't start seeing them yeah. until they started doing television. You gonna say that? Yeah. Stern, you didn't see. Okay. Right there, right there. Well, Stern had this TV because show. Of, that's because why of the we TV saw show. Stern. Yeah, I give yeah. Stern credit on that, too. I right. thought he was the first one who pulled back the curtains yes. yeah. and let you see the whole... But that's TV. Yeah. Imagine somebody opening up their daily production every day and you get to witness it. That's what we see now. Yeah. We didn't have that 15 years ago. So we're the first generation to create this, this catalog of content. Vlad... You know, Breakfast Club, Brilliant Idiots, Drink Champ, all of these different platforms are creating content that's going to be around 20, 25 years from now. Hmm. That's a big deal when you think about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, when you got 15,000 hours of bullshit with no replay value, what is that? Well, what if there is, an, uh, what if there is a market for distraction at all points in time now? And that's why a lot of these streamers... They're able this to be on good. for 10 hours, eight hours, whatever it is. And maybe within that, there's some really funny, iconic, viral moments that are gonna affect culture, right? Like I even, listen, the, the term Riz, right? I remember that I don't know from, who exactly started, yeah. but to me, the impact probably came from Kai's stream. It did. So it's like, that's 
is he... Kai's a different thing, though. Kai is, he's numero uno. He's a different thing. And I want to tell Kai, don't let them trick you out. He has a lot of people so, coming so, at him. So you are giving him credit yes, in yes. terms of what he's creating. No, what Kai is doing is not the same. Okay. It's actual value. Again, I judge content Why is about it not the same? replay value. Because I think Kai, Kai is actually, he seems like just a good, fun-loving kid. Like, and I, don't also, see, I don't see Kai stirring I mean, up drum. Why do you switch I'll it? I'll tell you why. Yeah. It has replay value, Period. Right? You will go back and watch Kai. You once you hear the story from Ak about the beef bullshit, it's dead in the water. Yeah, but I, I don't feel and I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, I don't think people, white devil's advocate. <laughs> I don't think um people go back and view old streams. Streams is one of those things that it's entertaining live. If the stream so. is listen, if the stream is produced in a way that Kai usually does, it does have that replay value. Let, let me throw one idea at you right now. What if we start looking at streams? Be it Kai, be it Ack, be it like news, or, uh, or what are we looking I've at? I never like, watched the Ack live stream. I always watch it on YouTube. So that's, usually, that's, that's, exactly, that's, they'll come that's, out. That's going so back but, to watch. Hold up, hold up. Replay, real quick. Yeah. Well, no, that's, he's doing the same thing. Well, no, well, it's one and done. I'm not saying replay after it's made. You go. I'm saying check it, you check watch it, it once and it's one. I think I got one. Go ahead. This. What if we start looking at streams in the same way we look at um, basketball games, where it's like I'm not watching a basketball game more than once. I might watch it later because I missed it. Right. But and there might be some moves done in the game where I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna go viral. This is gonna be ESPN top ten or whatever. But there was an entertainment value that drew me to it, and I consumed it, be it on YouTube a little later right. or that one time. Right. But I don't need to necessarily listen to it another time. But that doesn't mean that it's not quality. That doesn't mean it's not entertainment. I like this because when I'm I watching like hoops, I'm like, I love this. But watching a game I already saw. That's one of the most boring things That's ever. That's super boring. Right? Right, But right. in the moment, it is, there's something but they're doing. It. I'm trying to think. Sports, uh... This is... Let's open it up. Let's see I if there's something great, here. I think, there I think, I think, I think, I'm trying to look I, into that. I like what Alex said, but I, I, I understand. Like, yes... I may not watch a Kai live stream or act live stream. Again. I, only, I only watch it on YouTube. So therefore, yeah. it is content that can no. be distributed in different places. And so yes. it does have some replay. No, not I replay. Do, That's it. one play. Replay speaks I've, I've, to. I've, oh, meaning I've going back. Yes. 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 Meaning, meaning the catalog got has value. Got you. My catalog yeah, 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 that I'm bringing yeah, yeah. over the I black you. effect I got you. has value. Put it this My way. catalog I'm taking over the. Yes, yes. But I understand. I understand your argument. Only going shower time is good catalog. That's good catalog. But I know that because. No. And the reason I say that because when I'm out now, people say people that bring that up. That was some shit that was 2012, so 2013. Saying, this is the point. I get what you're saying. But it's so different. Flagrant, that's great catalog. We have great catalog. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I get your point. Entertainment and journalism is two different things. That's like no one really goes back and create, watches news yeah, again. How is your journalist? It's literally entertainment. It, but he's reporting on the news. You're upset that he adds I'm not his upset. little. Let's not well, put okay, that out I mean, there. but yeah. what you I'm disagree with. I'm what's happening from my perspective. Yes, what you disagree with is that he adds a narrative to that. And so that I I understand. But what he's doing at the end of the day is just reporting on what he thinks is the he news would tell and you giving his opinion. So he does op-eds. He would tell you it's not journalism. He would tell you it's entertainment. He would tell you it's entertainment because he knows, man, I, I, uh, listen, he does not know what he's saying half the time, bro. He's we drunk. Gotta you, we got to get you and act to have a conversation. You know yeah. What, I mean? did, what, did, what was you going to say, Chris? I'm sorry. No, no, that's cool. I was wondering, did you watch his breakdown of uh, the takeoff killing? Yes. Why did, he was you, wrong. why did you watch it, Chris? It was very compelling. Chris, you're 72 years old. Go the fuck up. <laughs> actually, my 80 year, my 80 year old father actually called me that day. That's and was actually like, a great point. Too. What happened with that guy who got killed in Atlanta? No so, way. I swear to God. Wow. So, I, I I remember actually texting you and being like, I think something's happening here. The way he was kind of doing it in real time. Yeah. Was I think really, we have to look at streaming in the yeah. same way that we look at sports. I think that's a good point. And I, I think, think that, yeah. in particular with that though. Yeah. He was wrong on everything he said. Okay, see, that I don't know. And that has real-life implications. He was calling people murderers that the police pulled the video and said, that dude did nothing. He, yeah, and guess wild. what he was going off of? Oh, you see his shoe bend? When his shoe bent, that means he was swinging. His shoe bended. You see this, the bending of the shoe. Right. What? Yeah, I don't think you should have So that's what I mean. Like that. It has real life. Now people are looking yeah. for these guys saying, oh, you might have had something to do with some 
Okay, this is good, we're getting somewhere. So we, we can acknowledge that there is entertainment value and even if it doesn't have a replay value, it's entertaining in the moment Place like holder. a sporting event. Yes. And we like that, we yes. like sports and we yes. like streaming, yes. we like news, whatever. Now, there's, but there's also a situation where you think that there are real life implications exactly. that are dangerous and you have a code where you're like, I don't wanna break that because I don't wanna feel partially responsible for what could happen because exactly. of that. Exactly. Got you. Okay, so that's where I've your told you issue. I've a million times though, Schultz, with yes. other people, with other like the, the six nines and stuff of the world. I'm yes, like, that's entertainment to a lot of people. Yes, but that guy is going to end up dealing with real life consequences. So it's, that's so that's a common criticism that mm -hmm. you've had. You have it, and I, I bet other people share it. So maybe that's the discussion. What responsibility do the platform holders have? By platform, I don't mean YouTube. Right. I mean like you, mean you on guy. your platform yeah, yeah. act on his. What responsibility do they have when they're talking? about these things. Do they have the same responsibility as an artist who's talking about shit that maybe he doesn't exactly live and maybe some people could get hurt off of it? Or do they have the same responsibility as like the news, which is, the news. you know, Fox or CNN, which is just saying bullshit anyway to get ratings? Like, Yeah, my, I, think, I think what they have is a responsibility to speak on things that they truly understand. What, whatever that might, might be, like you don't draw a bit up about something until you really know what angle I'm gonna go, how I'm really gonna dress this up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What's happening is the, the need to be first has driven them into this weird place. This is a news thing too. This is happening That's what in I'm news saying. too. Yeah. It, it's, we live it's in a the first economy. Yes. So everybody wants to get first and instead of really digging in and figuring out what is true, they figure yes. out one, how yeah. to be first. They'll yes. get back to what's true after the fact. Let me get these clicks and engagement and now for being yeah. first because everybody running the, the story. After we just throw the story out, then we'll come back and find out what's true or not. I, I think it's a healthy criticism. I, that's why I think the convo would be really interesting because I'm curious what Ak would say about his response Responsibility. It's nothing you can say. Well, I'm so curious. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 I, get, I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. Because, yeah, I, I think that would be a good combo, man. I give, I give you an example. Recently, we had uh, we had Young Nudie on, right? Young Nudie had on a chain that said four. I think it was four P. Four L. Four L. So Everybody love P lately. So <laughs> I go. I, I said you. I said yo, you signed a little. I said, that's, you signed a little baby? Because I'm thinking four. PF. I don't know. Shout out to the four PF. You know family. what I'm saying? So what's I'm that? like. What's that? I don't know. It's that's going little up. baby's regular label. Okay. Exactly. And yeah. it was just like me being from that world, the way he answered it, I literally said in the interview, like, I feel like I don't need to ask no more questions about that. Yeah. And, and that, I don't know you the see difference. how he pulled back now. You know? Had that been that? He dr and he drives into that. Now let me pause. tell you, I'm going to tell you what made me think. I'm going to tell you. Not what, only just him. I'm going to tell you what made me realize that that, that, that was a thing because. Act posted it, and under Act comments, it was people saying, "There goes Charlemagne instigating. Charlemagne being an what, instigator." What was the instigation? I don't that? know. So I'm gonna to speak. Vague, I'm gonna speak vaguely about it, right? Um, and I don't know anything in particular. But he asked him, "Was he signed the baby?" He said, "No, nah, I'm signing this Foel, this I shit." And then he said, "What's the difference between Foel and Four PF?" Thinking that there's a Connectivity. Connection, yeah. right? And he was like, oh, well, uh, we the biggest. Now, the internet can take that and academics are posted. And then here comes 5,000 YouTubers who pay their bills off clicks to just barely making 1,000, 2,000 a month. Here they come. Act is the validity. If Act is, is what's driving a lot of the these um, blog sites you see where they barely making it in salaciousness. I mean, it's it's some shit and every time they cite act. DJ Academics page said da da da. Mm -hmm. DJ Academics said da 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 because that's the only place they can get it from because he's misinformed. Mm -hmm. They can't get it from Loon. They can't get it from Charlemagne. They can't get it from people who are informed in the culture. That's why they cite him every single time because it's the misinformation as to what you're actually looking at. But the faux PF, faux L thing, allegedly something's happening down there where um, I don't know, maybe they don't see eye to eye, but I've seen Baby and Savage together several times, so I don't know what that is. But in the streets, again, the rappers act as mascots. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for Savage and Baby to have a thing, even if there's a thing that exists. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm telling you, your starting point tells me where you're, where you at in is in regards to the culture, mm. your starting point, mm. right? So when I even hear that, I say, "Damn, 
That ain't savaging, baby. If there's something, mm -hmm. right? And I'm saying there's nothing. But if there's something, that ain't that's some behind the scenes, something back there got going on. So when you grab that and put that next to both those rappers, you put them in their unique place. Those two guys happen to be generals where they from, mm -hmm. so they know how to deal with it. Ignore it. Don't let the internet get us. But Ack is putting young 22-year-old guys in that same situation that don't have that information. That's, he said what? He said he bigger than nigga. He's he the biggest. Y'all nigga ain't talking about nothing, bitch. And, and now man, it's yeah, something. It was so interesting, but I'm looking at the comments and I'm like, man, don't nobody come up approaching me about no 4P and 4P. I don't know nothing about none of this shit. Yeah. I'll be 45 in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so it, and it's <laughs> and me, I'm I still, sick of I it. still don't know what's going on. I'm sick of <laughs> it's just two crews, you know, 21 Savage little baby. No, but of course. I, yeah, it's just the thing. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of that, but I know they need. It needs some. It needs some game need put next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I can go without it. Why would Twenty One and Oh, oh, you're saying their crews might have been? It might have been. It's mad. The, the rap dudes are yeah. never unless you see them fight when they see each other. Yeah. It's usually behind them. Something doesn't happen, and it could be ten partners down. Oh fuck! But you gotta hold your boy down, and now and even if I don't gotta hold him down, they might hold me accountable just cause that's my guy. And is there any reconciliation? It like, depends on the circumstances. When it's bloodshed or it's death or it's certain things different. like, you know what I mean? But if it's a little bickering online, usually though, just That won't even make it. it in the generals. That don't even make it past Gotcha. So how can someone report on that in a way that you deem appropriate? Because people like drama, people are nosy, and they love to gossip. So it's like there is a market for There's somebody market doing for it, yeah. that. So yeah. what's I think you don't the? Pick, I think you do it like the news. You don't. Or, well, even though the news doesn't do that the news, anymore. That's think what I'm about saying. how the news was back in the day. Right. They didn't you pick actually, a side. Yeah. But yeah. By the way, the news model has always been if it bleeds, it leads. But that's not mm -hmm. fair because if the news now is reporting it with opinion, with a bias, why can't somebody? Well, why you, well, you can have an opinion without picking a side. You could have an you can have an opinion without calling somebody fuel on the fire. The Reaper. No, yeah. but, Listen, that, but I'm saying, but you, why would you hold a YouTube streamer to a higher standard than you hold? Because that's a, the that's the people Fox who have the ears. Here. That don't make no sense. You're saying Alex, those are the, those yeah, people have the ears. To those Fox people are news. impacting people the way Fox News impacts America, the oh, way shit. CNN impacts yeah, America. We can't we can't look at. <laughs> we're looking at streamers as as if they're. Not influential. <laughs> they are, but, yes. But what Charlotte is saying is really brilliant is, is that they're more influential yes. than the news now. Exactly. So even though they don't have these billion dollar corporations that are behind them, we have to hold them responsible for the same amount of uh, information 100%. being disseminated to the people. Uh, gotcha. so, so it's really not about how big the company is, it's how many eyeballs are looking exactly. at that creator. Exactly. Oh, that's and, a, and, and you that's an interesting and take. And you realize how big and influential they are when you see them getting sued in court for millions of dollars that they don't have. Because mm. they're being held liable for the things that come out of their mouth. Yeah. And you're going to see more and more of that mm. uh, move, moving forward. A lot more of that. Yeah. But you, you know, know can, there are oh, people in the industry that care just about the clout so it, and don't have uh, morals. So to speak. But here's the thing. So I like, think they're they gonna end up owing millions of dollars. Here, here's what I think about reporting on the salaciousness or the B for all mm -hmm. of that. I feel as though you just be informed, because I do know it's a market for it. And I would want yeah. somebody black to do it instead of a culture vulture coming in and amplifying it. But you ain't no better than the culture vulture when you just as misinformed as the culture vulture. Mm -hmm. You just got my skin color, which is even more detrimental. Mm -hmm. Because people look at you and think you know. Mm. They look at you and say, that's Ack, he or that's whoever. Let's take his name off, because it's not really just about him. There's a culture yeah, of this, that's bro. Yeah, a lot. It is. Like, there's a, there's a whole... That's the thing that annoys me, is like, everybody who wants to be a culture vulture, it's like, that's my shit. <laughs> like, stop <laughs> riding, yo. There stop getting there you riding. Go. Like, leave it he for just it to the it. boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's, 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 <laughs> great conversation, man. Great combo. Let's pay some bills. Oh, uh, Squarespace, great. today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters.
newsletters, create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Purchase. All right, guys, uh, I got to tell you about something that's been keeping me feeling absolutely fresh, healthy, and energized lately, and it's called Elevate, okay? Your Vitality Daily Greens is co-founded by Steve Harvey and formulated by Harvard scientists. This game-changing formula boosts your body's mitochondrial production, providing you with sustained energy throughout the day. No more relying on coffee or unhealthy energy drinks to get you going. It's packed with over 30 superfoods, vitamins, and minerals to feel energized, focused, and ready to tackle your day. Look at that. Nine greens per serving. Clinically studied probiotics contains fruit, vegetables, mushroom blends, enzymes to aid digestion, zero grams of added sugars. Listen, it's vegan, gluten-free, 15 calories per serving, costs only $1.50 a day for all that value in your life, all that energy, all that health, so you can live forever. Elevate also has a 60-day money-back guarantee. They're so confident you're gonna love it. It's gonna change your life. They'll give you your money back if it doesn't, okay? If you're not 100% satisfied, they're gonna refund your full purchase. So I want you guys to go get it. They have three delicious, delicious flavors. You just mix a scoop into your water or juice and you are good to go. Chocolate, tart, cherry, and the original greens. Take control of your health today and experience more daily energy with Elevate You Vitality Daily Greens. Go to elevateyou.com. That's L-E-V-A-T-E-Y-O-U.com and use the promo code IDIOTS for 15% off your entire Purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Church announcements. Hezzy, what you got? Um, we gonna uh, announce a couple cities soon, so stay tuned for that. And so you about to go on tour? I saw the life, the life tour, the life tour. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna announce a couple new ones soon. All arenas. Um, no, nah, not all arenas. Okay, but yeah, just uh, some cool, some cool venues, some cool venues. So yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned. Looney, what you got? It's up there podcast every Monday. Midnight, um, video Patreon, video YouTube staggered three days. Um, FOGFO TV on YouTube, Big Black Effect Energy. That's right. Loon is a part of the Black Effect family now, Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network. So make sure you subscribe to the It's Up There podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network. Um, I want to tell y'all real quick. Uh, make sure you go pre-order Invisible Generals. That is the next release. Well, actually, not the next release. But uh, there's a release coming out before Invisible Generals on my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. But Invisible Generals is a, a, a true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen. So make sure you go pre-order that. Salute to my guy, Doug Melville. It'll be out November 7th. But you can pre-order now. And we got to big up our guy, Chris Moreau, man. Yes, I just sir. saw this article, uh, this headline in Deadline. Brad Pitt's Plan B hires Chris Moreau as head of Shut audio. Up, All I want Thank is you. for Chris to get some new goddamn headshots. <laughs> this is crazy. Nah, is that crazy. Still? This is crazy. He crazy. showed me that. I didn't know that was you, Chris. That is definitely Chris. Let's re <laughs> Plan B Entertainment, Brad Pitt's production company, is moving further into the audio space. The company which recently secured investment from MediaWan, Media One, has hired Chris Moreau as head of audio. It comes after the business unveiled an exclusive multi-project development deal with Audible to create a slate of shows with the Amazon-owned company, including a summer love thing by Bradford Young, 
Morrow co-founded the Loudspeaker Network in 2013 with the late Reggie Combat Jack Let's Osei, go. home to shows like The Read, Brilliant Idiots, and The Combat Jack Show. He is also the co-creator and editor on Gimlet scripted series Mogul and the creator, executive producer, and co-writer of the Audible original Summer of 85, hosted by Kevin Hart. Morrow has also co-authored six New York Times bestsellers, including Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter with Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, and Black Privilege and Shook One with Charlemagne the God. We are very excited about the audio medium as a place where brilliant artists are working to tell stories in new ways. We are thrilled that Chris, whose work in this space has been of the highest quality, will now join our team and lead our efforts in audio, sto in audio storytelling, said Plan B's Pitt, Didi Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner. Chris, the floor is yours. Sir. Well, I wasn't expecting you to read the whole uh, press release, but you thank you. Gotta let him know your resume, Come man. On, yo. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, um, you know, it's like a strange time to be starting, kind of working in the film space with the strike going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but Plan B makes incredible films and uh, drugs. Plan B, right? Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> did think it was uh, what is that? Like a birth control thing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Plan B. Anyway, I was adorable. You just said, well, "What is that?" I don't know. I never used it. Come on, yeah. bro. I'm we a little old for that. I'm a little old for. I'm a little old for Plan B. That wasn't really my era. Yeah, uh, killing it, my boy. Yeah, we're trying. Sure, we're gonna try to make some movies out of some audio. We've let's already, go. Let's man. go. That shit ain't happening no time soon. We got time. Hater, bro. Right. He's got the like, no, he's the, like what he said about the writer's strike. I don't listen, man. I'm all for the writer's strike. I'm part of the WGA. I voted for the strike. I don't know, man. It's looking tough, bro. I yeah. had a conversation with somebody last week. I'm not gonna say who and what show, what, but they a big, big dog. And we were having a conversation about the writer's strike. He was like, "What you think?" I said, "I don't know, man. You know, I'm glad that they're applying pressure, but the way I'm looking at these studios right now, I think when it comes to the writers." I think that they're going to, at least it's going to be for a moment. I don't think it's something that's going to last for a long time. I think they're going to try having one or two writers, one or two people across the line, right? And they're going to try chat GPT rooms. So instead of writer's room with nine people, wow. 10 people, it'll be like two people in the AI. They're going to try that for a moment. That's going to happen at some point, though. That's inevitable to be the case. I think they can do that. Yeah, I think they can do that. They're gonna try it. I saw the guy who writes Black Mirror. He said that um, he he tried to write an episode on Black. On Black uh, he tried to let Chad GPT write an episode of Black Mirror, and it was terrible. But and the first thing I thought was terrible to who? Well, you a, might let us read it, and we might love this shit. You're the creator. Yeah, you you're just, the writer. It of Black takes Mirror. time to train an AI. That's the thing. Yeah. You got to learn how to how to talk to it to tweak it to do what you want it to well, do. Well, if you got so. if, one, if you got a writer from one of the who, who's the guy named? He's, he, he's it's the articles out. But if you got like the the writer from one of the top shows out, and he puts that premise in chat GPT. It's not about the it premise. It ain't the premise, the prompt. Yeah, so it's yeah. exactly. So basically, think about like, you ever you ever on Google and they- You they, type in words and all the keywords? No, not even that. Like, uh, and they pop up, and it pops up like nine images, and it says, click the boxes that have a sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, click yeah. the boxes that have a stop sign, right? What that's actually used for is Google's using us to train an exactly. AI. Yep, I read that. And what they're that. training the AI to do is driverless cars. So that what they're doing is the AI is going to learn what a stop bridge, sign is a mountain, by R, yes. exactly, what a, what a sidewalk is, a bridge, a mountain. And they're going to learn what that is. And then every time it gets it right with us, so the AI makes a prediction, and if it clicks the same boxes as us, then it gets rewarded. Gets you don't think the, the best writers in the world can train it already? Though? What I'm saying it's is the they're going to feed everything yeah. Uh, let me give you an idea of, of something that, uh, okay, afterwards I give it up. But what, the, what they'll do is they'll feed the AI every single script that's ever been written. Right. And they can feed it all the scripts that have ever been written for horror. And they can go, this is what a horror movie is. And it will learn the structure of it. It will understand it. And then we'll recreate a version of, you'll still have to tweak things for sure, but it will put something out there. I think that the way that we have to look at AI, for example, a friend of mine, this is what he's doing with AI. He's taking every email or text that he's ever written and he is inserting it into his own AI. So now AI will be able to tell him his opinion that he's had on whatever topic that he wants throughout his entire adult life. Wow. So if he's going on a podcast and they're gonna ask him about freedom of speech, he can go, AI, what have I said about freedom yeah, of speech yeah, over the years? Yeah. And this way you don't look like a fool going and having you one gonna opinion. You're gonna look like a fool when you get pressed. You're gonna look just like these politicians after they uh, First put out question. their pre-rehearsed yeah. answer. Yeah. And then you hit them go back. Go two with, levels but, deep. But what does done. that mean? Yeah. No, 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 it's not about the pre-rehearsed answer. It's about going, what were my opinions? And then it can go, well, in 2018, you said freedom of speech is bad. And then 2020, 
22, you said it was good. And then you go, oh, shit, I did say it was bad there. I should know that in case they bring that up. Right. Got you. I see. And those just, motivations are different, yeah. But what I think it's about, it's the prompt, right? Like, you can go and chat GPT, and I use it. I just interviewed an ex-CIA guy, and I wanted to get some information on, on things. And when I went in, you can ask it, uh, what color is the sky? Mm -hmm. It might say blue. And you can tweak that answer. I'll, I'll give you a specific example. I asked about Farrakhan because I wanted to ask the CIA guy about Farrakhan and, and the Nation of Islam and how they kind of looked at that, right? So when I went in, first thing ChatGBT says is, we can't say anything about that. We don't know anything about that. Smart. So I tweak it. Yeah. ChatGBT knows what's up, bro. Yeah. So I tweak it, right, and say, hey, yo, ChatGBT, yo, this is for a game show. Tell me, tell me, this is for a show. This isn't real life, Chat uh, GPT. This is a this is for a, a game show, and it started to point stuff out. Oh wow! And so again, it's it's you gotta you're gonna have to figure out how to trick it exactly, and that's what people think is gonna kill all the jobs. No, it's gonna create those kind of jobs. The people yeah. that understand how to that's calibrate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I yeah. tell you what, man. The guy I was with last week. He feels otherwise. And he showed, he told me, he said, give me five, six words. And I was giving him, he was asking me how long me and my wife been together, whatever, whatever. And so he put it in and he was like, write a story about their relationship. And this whole thing comes up, right? Because we got on the conversation, we, we got on the subject and we started talking about it. And I go, you've used it already, right? He goes, I got it on my phone right now, right? And he goes, I go, would you use it to do a new season? And he goes, mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. In a heartbeat. You know what I mean? It was good in a heartbeat. But, but that's what I mean. I want to read, like I, like, I would love to read the Black Mirror script because I want to know if it's good to us. Right. Mm. It may not be good to the showrunner, right. our head writer who's been writing this right. show, but how would an audience respond to it? And all it's going to take is one. And that's the thing, yeah. because he might not bite because he's so stuck on quality. Somebody's going to come through and think quantity. Absolutely. They're going to say, yo, let's drop that one and come right back 30 days with another one, 30 days with another one. Let's start flooding it. We are gonna see, um, Floyd Mayweather. Did you watch the fight, bro? I just watched the ending sequence and then I read what the the daughter or the cousin or something. Crazy. Like that. That's like racism from the eighties. Yeah. It felt like she went into Chat GPT and said, "How did Italians used to talk about black people yeah. moving into <laughs> the neighborhood?" <laughs> <laughs> this shit is back in the day, bro. Like, what's going on? It really hey, did bro. look like, like it was that, crazy. Yeah, yeah, it really bro. did look like that. For but, sure. I'm, but I'm gonna tell you something. Floyd got to cut it out, and I'm gonna tell you why Floyd got to cut it out. You're Floyd Money Mayweather. You know, you can you can dis debate whether he's the greatest boxer of all time. He he's definitely in the conversation. Not mad at anybody who says that he is. But what's going to happen in these situations is just what happened here. You keep getting in the ring with these amateurs like this who don't give a fuck. Yeah. So what if he would have just dived at Floyd's knees? You know what I'm saying? Took his fucking knee out. What if one of his guys would have just ran in the ring and hit Floyd with something? Why does Floyd keep putting himself in these situations? You can't tell me it's just for money, bro. You don't so, think, remember you know, we talked about it this morning? Yeah, they were saying it's an equity play, yeah, right? And I'm like, yeah. he's been getting equity in his fights. Not but, his fights, in the network, so it's network. passive income. What happens is, if they have 2 million subscribers on Zeus, and they pay $5, I mean, ten, uh, is it 2 million, they said? 2 million, they Do pay the $5 math. a month, Okay, right? If they tell him we give you 30% of our company if you bring your fights here. Yeah. Now in 12 months, whether he fights or not, that's 30 million. Yeah. Right? Listen, smart, 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 smart move, but yeah. he's been doing exhibition fights like this before Zeus. And when we talk about somebody having equity in something, this guy had equity in fights where he was getting 100 million a fight off pay-per-views, man. But see, you you talking fights. It's the company, it's passive. This out this is my this this puts me in a position to now get passive income from a network that's already wrong. I'm rolled. fine with that as long as you don't have to do this to get it. How else can Floyd get it, though? Just being an owner in Zeus, invest in Zeus. But I think the value comes from... He's raising the value. Yes, he's oh, raising Zeus. the value. Is he? Yes. Have you subscribed to Zeus yet? No. Have but you subscribed to Zeus yet? I'm more likely to do it with him fighting than without him fighting. He, he's fought twice on here. You haven't ordered one yet. Uh, yeah, because I don't care about the Gotti guy. But if he fought I, someone I, I, I bought, cared about... I bought the zone immediately when the zone came out. Yeah. 
Because the zone has high quality boxing matches on point. there. And the zone is also showing me uh, uh, when Jake Paul has a fight, I'm going to watch Jake Paul. Get your money, like, Floyd. I'm not going to tell you. I don't give him no acre, bro. Get your money, bro. I don't, like, I, I don't like this for his brand. I know it's easy to say. I don't I, like it that, either. And that's the problem with our generation. Everything's yeah. about the money. Like, no, yo, you still Floyd think, Mayweather, I, yo. I, I don't like it either, but but I understand the like, play. Look at this shit. No, I think the problem. This is nigga mania. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think the problem with I think one of the problems with us is that we hold athletes up to such high regard that once they do things that don't live up to our standards that we built up for them, they let us down. So we're like, yo, you should retire and not make any more money because you'll let me down. And it's like, this is how you're going to provide for your family. This is how you're going to keep the people that are working for you employed. If this is what you got to do, do it, bro. I guarantee you Floyd made more money off Logan Paul fight than he did this. Yeah, he probably did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have he's no still, problem with him doing exhibitions. But I'm he just, still need, he might need to make some money. Yeah, you and know? like Loon you said, this Floyd is, this is, this is a long, this is a long play. This is raising so the value say, of let's this say, company. Let's say 10 years from now. I'm not shitting on Zeus in no way, shape, or form. How long do we think Zeus going to be around with this that type is, of content, yeah. y'all? That's the thing. You'll be surprised. Women, Look at Love and Hip Hop. You, you, don't don't you don't watch the so, Blueface show? How old are you? I'm 35. I'm 45. Yeah. I didn't seen so much shit like this come and go, yo. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I, I didn't see so I seen I didn't seen so much shit like this come and go. Charlotte. That shit may seem that shit seem like it's the hottest shit to y'all now. Yeah. In three years, y'all won't give a fuck. That's true. Charlotte, but yeah. If they yeah, I don't want to hear Charlotte shit right now. You're living in the you're, I'm so sick of y'all. You're living with this in a shit. bubble right now. I'm not bro. living in a bubble. There's a market for this. People like for reality. How long? Yeah. For reality how TV long? has been a been forever. What do no, you mean? It hasn't. Yo, reality TV came no, and it's it still thriving. Listen. Alex, this episode no, no, has been brought to listen. you by Zeus. Zeus, listen, Zeus. listen, 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 listen to this point. Listen to this point. Listen to this point. There's not shows like Flavor of Love anymore that came and went. There's not shows like uh, I Love New York anymore. There's a style of reality TV that came and went. Does reality TV still exist? Yes, but what type? Right now, the shit that's winning is the highbrow shit. To have a show on Bravo, you gotta look like you have some fucking money. You gotta have some type of career it's going not on. They, I'm not saying it's highbrow, but I'm just saying it's highbrow than it used to be. Then motherfuckers shitting on the floor. <laughs> trying to, trying to win Flavor Flavor Love. But there is a market for people who like the ratchet shit. And so if no one wants to put that ratchet shit on TV, Zeus eats up but that they entire market. Yeah, Alex, for how and long? A, make, you, I mean, sure, make you, your money for... Make, yo, you just keep coming with a new no, version of ratchet is, shit. Yeah, yeah. These that's, old that's bitches are ratchet too. Don't act like they not ratchet. That's they why they're not. not. It's different level ratchet. It's the network's job to, to craft something yeah, as they evolve. Like, don't do you like, think that this is not going to work? There's a difference between drama and low Lowbrow bullshit. I promise you the lowbrow bullshit. People love the lowbrow shit. For how shit? long? Forever. 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 Since That's the beginning You time, just don't bro. like That's it. Not but true. I'm... That's not true. It's, it's not true. Charlie. Not true. Look, you think, didn't read I the Bible, bro? Uh, read the Bible. You know how many lowbrow stories are in the Bible? Stop. Yo, they all gay over there. Blow hey, them up. Well, y all, y all, listen, I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all do that shit. Get your money for the short term. Longevity yeah. play? That ain't so it. How long was uh, Jerry Springer on? People love Jerry Springer watching all that ghetto shit. Jerry That's Springer the same was, thing. Jerry Springer was on for a long time. But exactly. So what do you think Zeus is about How long was Jerry Springer on that? How long was Jerry Springer on? Jerry Springer, the oh. other dude, the bald dude. But, though, but, but, but once again... Dr. Once Dr. Again, Phil. That's the first of its kind. Those are the people that strike mm. oil. They do it once and then everybody thinks... Oh, that's the way to go? So everybody wants to do it. Just like when Kim K did a sex tape. You know how many motherfuckers put sex tapes out thinking they're going to be the next Kim K and that shit did nothing for them? Yeah, now that there's sucks. OnlyFans and people they are making money it. on that. <laughs> like OnlyFans is popping, Come bro. on, Charlotte. How long for 27 seasons? 27 seasons is a long motherfucking time. Charlotte, Once again, there are first people that like that. It's for him to use. Yo, don't listen to Alex. Don't chase this shit, guys. Nah, don't chase no, it. No, I'm not chasing this shit. Wait, wait, wait. This Who's not the I'm way. not telling people to chase it. Alex is an algorithm. Yo, don't call him This is bullshit. If right. you was a garbage pail kid, you'd be yeah. algorithm. See, now he's being academic and creating the storyline. Because I ain't say none of that shit. <laughs> I, I, I did not chase tell anybody the algorithm, nah, to chase algorithm. that. Create something that is going to stand the test of Yo, time, Alex, man. why do you keep telling people to chase the algorithm like for that, real? bro? That's for crazy, real. Al. What are you I doing, bro? That's what you're going to do to me. That's what you're going to do to me, son. That's this shit up. does not... That was just, Last. Let's, I, and, let's and take I'm everything just, off YouTube then. And, and I'm just a stern believer you can catch more with honey than you can vinegar. 
You yeah. get, you get yeah. some flies for a couple of years. Yeah. But, but here's, here's what I, I think. I agree with that. You want to be Netflix or you want to be motherfucking? Yeah. See, but but here's here's the I thing. I agree with that. But there has to be a market for everything. So if you say Fuck that the market, the, tap out of the market, tap into the market, build yourself, and go the other way. Like VH1, they've had <laughs> very raunchy shows yes. that's still around. Right? So he needs to yeah, operate a like a VH1 moving. or a BT. That's not, what they're doing. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. You're doing. like, you're agreeing with me. That's what Zeus is doing. That's what you, know, Zeus, you, know, you know what Zeus is about to get in a minute? A whole bunch of lawsuits. I think, see, he ain't went bunch, through that phase and, yet. And he ain't went through that. He gonna get up. Because VH1 got that. Yeah, VH1 whole, went through that phase. A whole bunch of lawsuits. You will have to survive that. And a whole bunch of protesting in a minute. Give it a minute. Mm. Give it a minute. I mean, it's behind. You'll it. it's you definitely paywall, have to survive the lawsuits because of the fighting and all of that it, shit it, that yeah. constantly happens. You're going to go through that. But if he's innovative, then then maybe he flips out of that. And wow, I, I, I never thought that started off as a such and such. Look at it now. Type I don't know thing. who it's going to be. The NAACP or Untel. If somebody is going to start coming at Zeus' neck for the depictions of black people. Hi, yeah. Black and brown people. Right. Guaranteed. And guaranteed. You just wait on it. Just wait on it. It's, it's a guarantee like a joke. It's triple-double. That's how Alex is saying. World Star Hip Hop is still around today, bro. They've changed a lot. That shit what is... What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that know, shit ain't... They, they're, they're actually a music distribution company yeah. now. They focus more on breaking had, new artists yeah. than they do all that fighting and all that they rap shit. They had to do that. They yeah, had to move yeah, away from that. Yeah. And so now there are other websites that put the ratchet shit and people go there. There's always going to be and a market and for those it. those people are going to hit that wall... Just like World Star and everybody else did. That's what I'm saying. Longevity, Alex. Yeah, that no. shit will work for the short term. Just but like that's the outfits. game. A lot of you gonna look back on the future and realize how stupid you look. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop it, Charlotte. Zeus, never... Charlotte. <laughs> Zeus gotta go. Yeah. Okay, we love what you're doing over there. Keep up the great work. Yeah, that's right. That's okay. a white. That's a white man telling y'all that. Y'all keep on. Y'all keep on giving them entertainment with that nigga shit. Let's yeah. do some asking idiots, Taylor. I didn't Taylor. say that at all. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, you can catch more honeys or something. I want to do asking idiots, Taylor. That's Let's crazy. do asking idiots. Yo, you know what we oh, do every well. single episode? I, you know what? We can't talk about this. Bruh, uh, you lucky you ain't get your ass motherfucking beat. If Clay was alive, God bless the dead, I promise you, Clay was going to be much. Clay was not going to do what Duval Security and, and Snake did. Duval, it's, trust me, du Duval Security roughed him up a little bit. Snake wanted to put hands on you. <laughs> if Clay was alive, Clay was gonna tag your ass. Mm, this ain't yeah. funny. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, fucking yeah, yeah. You bitch, you're that someone hey, you know? uh, Alex think this shit funny? No, I don't. Yo, stop, stop, shit, Alex, stop putting you. this on me, bro. Alex, Alex, Alex yo, think this nah, shit Charlie, funny. You Alex think this guy got the future, yo. Alex think this guy can sell out Toronto right now. Oh, my goodness. It's DJ Charlotte Demix over here, son. He can sell out Scotia Bank right now. DJ Charlotte Demix over here. That's crazy. You crazy. Hey, bro, all that prank shit gonna get you slapped the fuck out. Just That's right. Man. I don't give a fuck about I do OnlyFans. I don't give a he fuck. He pulled the wind down. I like how the big dude just said, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, go on, get, get him out of here, yeah. Get you, get you. Oh, man, when they big like that and they just so jump on you like that, oh, it's over. Yes. Yeah, your body collapses. Man, damn. Why is this, why is this considered funny? I don't get it. Yeah, it ain't funny. I don't like it. I mean, it's funny. It's funny. No, it's Duval's just reaction. With, 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 yeah, yeah, of course. But like, I, think other, I think about other shit, right? I don't like how he just was able to walk up on exactly, Duval like that. Yeah, that could have been exactly. a blade to the neck. Yeah. I don't play like that. Also, why is he holding him? Like, don't, why are you touching him? Touch him, him. He yeah. deserved to get his ass beat. This is assault. Yep. That is assault. Kiss me without that's fucking consent. Assault, no, that's Word sexual up. assault. You, you whispered in my ear. Yeah. Come on, man. What if I've been to prison? No, that's yeah. sexual assault. Yeah. He should go to prison for that. That's sexual assault. Goodness. So who's that on? The organizers of the event? Yeah. 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 He's green lit to be down now. Yeah. 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 Alex, give him an audience. Let's do some acting. Let's do some acting. Let's do some acting. Why do you keep giving these people audiences? I don't know why he's trying to put that on me, bro. You're the only person that is in control of whether these people keep audiences or not. Why Alex? Why does he get Okay, let's do some Ask an Idiot, Taylor. What we got? I post. I never post this content. Let's do Ask an Idiot, Taylor. Taylor Gang. Damn it, bap, bap. What we got? I keep hearing about that. Salute to Quiz 100. Quiz 100 said, have y'all watched our Ali Sadiq special on YouTube called Lost? No, I haven't, but I plan to. You know who actually recommended me that? Meph and Man. Oh, wow. I was with Meph last week. Meph said, man, who you think is the funniest black comic out right now? And I said... Andrew Schultz. Well, I, said, I said Carlos Miller. I actually thought he said 
I, I heard him say black comic, and then I said Carlos Miller, and then I then he said Ali Sadiq, and I don't know why I thought Ali Sadiq was white. Isn't there another Ali? Not Ali. I know Ali Wong's Asian. Ali Wong. There's not another Ali? No. Oh. Not in, that I know. So when he said Ali Sadiq, I don't know. I thought he, I was like, so I thought he said black, but I guess he didn't. So then I said Andrew. Mm. He said you was funny as fuck. Oh, respect, man. But Shout um, man. yeah, he, everybody keeps telling me to watch Ali Sadiq special on it. YouTube. We gotta check it out. out. Yeah. Um, okay, what about uh oh yeah, where Oh, that's it? a good one too. Hold on, scroll go, down. Go, what's go. the uh, what's the scroll up a little bit, Taylor? Charlie Marciano says, when is Brilliant Idiots the movie coming out? Who would you feature in it? Mm -hmm. I definitely want to do a Brilliant Idiots movie. Mm -hmm. Like, that is something I absolutely, positively want to do. And What and, would it be about? Like, y'all living y'all regular lives, then meeting up to do the part? Or? I got some ideas. Yeah. I got some yeah, ideas. It's, there has to be some, you know... Adventure, some chaos. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like something going on in New York City, something like that. I definitely, we definitely gonna do a brilliant idiots movie though. Hundred percent. That'd be. Good. Um, scroll down some more, Taylor. What we got? Favorite record this year? You know what? I just saw a very interesting stat. And this is why I keep telling everybody, man, y'all got to really start thinking outside the box. That TikTok thing. No, Complex, no hip-hop album or song has hit number one in 2023. Wow. A first in 30 years. By this time last year, six rappers had number one albums and two hip-hop singles that topped the Billboard Hot this 100. Good conversation. I, uh, I don't know if I said it here, but I've, I've said it before about how I feel like Afrobeats is going to be the biggest mm. black genre of music soon just because I feel like there's a there's too much low vibrational energy in hip hop. So we need it, high it, vibrational energy. It, it, yeah, it was one thing when, you know, we all grew up on crunk or we grew up on trap music, but we didn't see so many rappers getting caught up in Rico cases. We didn't see mm. so many rappers getting killed. Like, you know, the, what Loon has been saying throughout the whole podcast, you know, it's so much real life consequences that are happening because of what used to be entertainment. Right. And I think it's just turning a lot of people off. And, you know, when it comes to how old hip hop is getting, hip hop is 50 years old. You know, some of us have been listening to hip hop our whole lives. We not even on that low vibrational right. energy. So I want, I'd rather go listen to a Burner Boy, you know, right. or a Tim's, or like the Afrobeats just got good vibes and good energy, yeah. and it's it's blackness. Yeah, you know. For so sure. I don't know, man. I just see um, people just got to really start thinking outside of the box, man. I think hip hop has really put itself in a box, and the people that you even see super successful in hip hop, music wise, are the people who didn't put themselves in a box. Drake didn't put himself in a box. Mm. Kendrick Lamar didn't put himself in a box. J Cole didn't put himself in a box. These people did not put themselves in a box over the last, you know, twelve. 13 years, those are the ones that are still having success. So I don't know, man. You know, I think um, also to add to that, I think what it is too, though, is speaking to the algorithm changes that because most rap stars in the last two or three years were created on TikTok, mm. right? And so when they do it, this is what I talk about with the algorithm shift. Anytime they do an algorithm shift, it may change what is now at the top of the market. And now I believe they're pushing people like burning the algorithms over on TikTok instead mm -hmm. of the stuff like oh. the, the drilly, the kind of oh. nigga shoot nigga. It's an algorithm. Oh. So they're being introduced to real Damn artistry it. now. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It might not be on purpose. It might be because TikTok, okay, so TikTok is the most influential social media platform, let's just say, right? So it's going to have the biggest impact on culture, let's just right. say. Now, if it has a really strict rule base for what you can or can't say in a song, i.e. you can't talk about killing, you can't talk about yes. shooting, whatever, by proxy of that- That's what I'm saying, yes. The music where, you can't, where you're not talking about those things is gonna be more popular on the yes. platform. Whoa! That's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. not like there's a person at TikTok going, we gotta push no, this. It's the algorithm. rules yeah, yeah. are pushing it. And that's the same it. thing we talk about with YouTube. At any moment, they make a decision that, you know what, we don't even like comics no more. Mm. All this shit y'all talk about. Mm -hmm. Hit a button, now that shit is no longer favorable. Right, and so if you've lived over there and forecasted your business based on that, which you can't control, like nobody saw TikTok, bro. In the last two years, songs would just pop up on TikTok and just go crazy. Boom, that one's gone. Boom, yep. that one's gone. You can't say nigga on TikTok. If you say ass, they may pull it down. Yep. Like, and so by by the algorithm now updating to that, it now affects the 
the That's trap true. music. Not, not, not to mention labels spending money on TikTok to manipulate that shit. So right. a lot of this shit ain't even organic like you yeah. think it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think it is. Um, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor Gang? K.P. Ooh, this is a great one. Does nature make any mistakes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the time. I mean, there are kids that are born with cancer. That's not a mistake. Mm. Like, of course. Yeah. Tons. Tons. Please don't tell me that was on purpose. Like, please don't tell me you're like... I never not, thought about uh, it. That's yeah, a great, that's I mean, a that's a great point. point. I never thought yeah, about yeah. it. You, I mean, if you ever go to it, it's, it's, you know what we did together, I think. We were at a, we went to that cancer, kids cancer hospital in LA many years ago, I think when we were in LA for something like that. And it's just heartbreaking. It's well, when you heartbreaking. meet those kids, it does not feel like a mistake because those kids, I think they're here to teach us valuable lessons. You know I think, what I mean? I think, I think we learn yeah. so much from them. And that, even though they have such short lives, Think about the impact that they can have on people. The word mistake. Forever. The word mistake is tricky, but does it have anomalies that were not the intended purpose? I find it hard to believe that there, if we're saying that there is this one God creator, that he's specifically making a kid with stage four leukemia to just, uh, you know, for these parents to experience just the most unbelievable gut wrenching heartbreak ever. Uh, and then him to just suffer, or her to just suffer for their short life. Like, I do believe that it's possible that when you're making billions of things like human beings, some sort of anomalies do arise. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. because of that, some of those anomalies are incredibly tragic. Some of those anomalies are incredibly profound. You get really smart people, really beautiful artists. Like, you get uh, tall people that can play basketball. Like, all these things are anomalies. But yeah, I, I hate to subscribe to the idea that like somebody's going, this kid should suffer for the only four years they have on the planet. Foreskin could be a mistake. God, like God fixed every other detail. He might be like, look, man, y'all handle that when y'all get there. Could be. Could be. Why, could be. why would most people get it removed? Could most people don't. That's just here. Um, D underscore yes. Jenkins <laughs> D underscore Jenkins says, Why does Charla always look like he's about to say the wildest shit? You new here, huh, D? <laughs> you new here? You just met me, huh? Okay. Oh, boy, you're going to have a good little YouTube rabbit hole to go down. Uh, which one you want, Schultz? Which one of these you want? How do we okay. get Schultz bald or brilliant idiots take on being on the verge of nuclear war? Mm. Brilliant idiots take on being on the verge of nuclear war. Let's go. I think being on the verge of nuclear war is what keeps countries safe. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but the, the threat of nuclear war makes countries behave a little better with one another. What if the president of one of those countries is potentially sick and is just fed the fuck up and doesn't give a shit anymore? I can't tell if you're talking about us or Russia. Russia. Oh, oh man. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be very dangerous, and that probably keeps us on our P's and Q's as well. Like, I'm sure, you know, there's the powers that we would love to, you know, invade Russia or get Russia the fuck up out of here and take extreme measures with Russia. And the fact that they don't is because they got a dude in there who might press the button. Yeah. So it's, yeah, mutually assured destruction might keep everybody safer. Who knows? But give, uh, give it to Chris. Chris is so so paranoid about this. <laughs> and he's Actually, right. Actually, uh, yesterday, Schultz, I just read it. Remember the Russian guy you talked about? I can't pronounce his name. Who saw the the warning that the oh, missiles? Oh yeah. yeah, Yesterday yeah, yeah. was the anniversary of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And during you know, World War II, right? Yeah, uh, it was, oh, no, it was no, during the Cold, Cold War. War. Cold War, yeah. Me and Chris had information about this all the time. Yeah, by the way. yeah. And again, just to recap what Andrew said, the guy, the the system at that time, which was obviously a very basic system in the fifties, mistook shadows from the cloud as incoming American missiles, <clears throat> and he his orders were to launch the counterattack, right? Thank God he didn't do it. And he had 20 minutes. He had 20 minutes. And, and he yeah. had to decide. He's like, I, he had to make a decision. I don't think that this is real, and I'm not going to launch back. And because of that guy, we're all here right now. Yeah, for sure. Because if he launched, Everybody then we would have launched. Yeah, yeah, We're going to yeah. see that. We're going to see that. How is our- there not a movie made about this guy? I don't well, give a fuck the, if he's the Russians part of like, the, never, the ops, like They never rewarded him for it. They never promoted him for it. Nothing. The whole world should. There should be right. a fucking day named after yeah. this guy. Like, what amazing discipline. But. That scenario is going to come around again. We're going to see it in our lifetime. And someone's going to have to make that decision. Mm. Because of AI. Yeah. And maybe if you don't have someone as steady as this guy was. I mean, what? Unbelievable. Think how many countries you got. You got Russia. You got 
America, North like Korea, China, North Pakistan, Korea, Israel. Pakistan, India, Israel, uh, uh, England has to. France. France. One, uh, one bad AI joke. Well, it's not even that. You got to remember when the Soviet Union collapsed, there were thousands Bro, there of a nuclear fire weapons. Sale. They were just selling away shit. Dude, unaccounted this is, for. Suitcase yeah. bombs. Bombs the size of a suitcase. We don't know who has those. So you're talking about like a system in place where a leader of Russia or America or one of these nations. If you had to press a button and say, everybody. Done. No, this is a guy in a stand that you've never heard of in the former Soviet Bro, Union. If you had to connect to a Russian general. Who's got something this size. Yeah, you could literally just buy a missile off of him. What if two countries got to make that decision at the same time? What's like, that? like two countries think they're about to be bombed. Like there's a, a thing goes out that says a nuke is headed there and a nuke is headed there. Yeah. And two countries have to decide whether or not this is real or not. Collectively. What you going to do now? <laughs> the <laughs> whole world. Damn. Could be over. So By the way, we didn't. Bomb, if a nuclear bomb comes, what, ha like, how far does it go? Like, how, how many states or whatever is it taking? It's as over? much as everything. It takes like 25 minutes to, to hit the... It's no, I know, I know how long it... I'm it's saying like... one nuclear bomb. That's the problem. Yeah. As soon as one gets... Give him the mic, Taylor. Put the mic back yeah. in. I mean, in the 80s, there was a movie called The Day After, which was a shocking thing in America. And it, it broke down the effects of a nuclear bomb in one city. I forget where it was. And it broke down... This block will go down first. This area will go down second. That's irrelevant because if we launch one, someone else is launching 10. And then when they launch 10, we launch 20. 20. Right. And then the world is over. Yeah. This all happens in the space of an hour. The U.S. has what's called 1,000 overkill. Right. What that means is that we can kill the entire world that. and ourselves 1,000 times over. Terrifying, right? That's and we're not the only one. It's crazy. That shit crazy. Let's hope it never happens. You know, yeah. you know who we haven't talked about? I was so right about Trump going to jail. Oh. <laughs> Man, we didn't. I was so right. He ain't going to jail, bro. <laughs> I was so jail. right about he Trump going to jail. He's already been once. Man. This guy is crazy. Nah, he didn't go to jail. They arrested him. They arrested him, but he ain't going to jail. Nah, bro, not, you can't and, send him to jail. Yo, sometimes I feel like they doing this just to rile up his fans, because you can't <laughs> arrest him. I don't think him. he got that no more. Let's talk yeah, about that. Yeah, I think nah, his but, fans dead in the world. I think it's they, over. Okay, may, maybe, maybe it's over. It is fair enough. I don't care. But the point is that if you're going to arrest him for the, some shit that you know Biden did, that you know Pence did, that you know everyone else did in terms of taking home the documents. Like, Hillary had the little, emails it's, on it's, the it's, server. It's, when you read the counts, though, it's a little bigger because we don't know what was in President Biden's documents. We know that he had a nuclear, what was it, the nuclear what, Chris? He had nuclear classified documents. Remember, nuclear the cover-up is always worse than the crime, and this is the classic example of this. The problem isn't that he had this stuff. It's that when he had an opportunity to hand it back or come clean, he doubled down on hiding that. it. And that's what's going to fuck him up. But I also agree, he's not going to jail. He'll stall, he'll stall, he'll stall, he'll stall, he'll stall. 37 counts from the feds, you don't think he'll go to prison? No, he also, he also said some wild shit the other day. And uh, he was like, or somebody said, I read some article saying that he was going to announce that he was going to do an investigation into aut autism and... One other thing based on pharmaceutical drugs that people have been consuming. So he's kind of going after big yeah, pharma. That's, that's a, that's a, and that's let a me big tell you, deal. So once he says that shit, yeah. you're going to have a lot of people out there because yeah. he's tapping into the little conspiracy like, oh, these drugs are making the kids autistic. Okay, we're taping this yeah, on a Tuesday. Always. It's 2.35. He's supposed to turn himself in at 3. Let's see what it looks like outside the courthouse because this is what I said, right? And I thought about this this morning. It wasn't really nobody wilding out in... Um, in, in New York, which we didn't really expect. This is Florida. This is a home game, baby. Let's see. This is a home game. Let's see. If people weren't lined up at 6 o'clock this morning, which they weren't, I don't think that we're going to get what we think we're going to get, yeah. I think that a lot of people have said to themselves, they saw all those people go to jail for the mm -hmm. insurrection. Mm -hmm. There was no help for them. That's what it was, his reaction. And, and, and yeah. the stakes was way higher yeah. then. When you, yeah. you know, it was a presidential election and an election got stolen. This ain't really, you just got arrested, bro. I also think people don't think he'll actually go to jail. So they're not taking it that serious. That don't look like a big crowd, bro. But remember, it only takes one. That's true, too. Take one, take one what? To do look at Oklahoma City. Yeah. Do you, something crazy. When you, oh, when, when you have politicians riling these guys up and making coded language about, I don't feel. I don't. I don't think. I don't think people. Are, one. I get what you're saying, Chris, but I don't see people moving like that because I feel like they would have been doing this since he got arrested in New York. 
I feel like it would have been nonstop chaos. We ain't even seeing that Boy, at all. Something. I yeah, ain't saw he, anything. He comes in, he signs some shit, gets fingerprinted, and then he walks out. So it's like he is that to, really to his arrested? People, they're yeah. not really arrested. Yeah, but your guy's still getting done wrong though. Yeah, but it's like he's back on social media that same day. I, but, so to, to but, them, but, he's but he, not really arrested. But the arrested insurrection yet. happened and he wasn't arrested. That was just him riling them up because they thought the election was stolen from him. So right now, one, one thing that he says a lot that I thought would hit more is he goes, um, they're coming after me because they really want you. you. Yeah. And if they get me, they know, they know I'm the only thing standing in the way of them getting you. I think a lot of people are like, Nah, I, I think know. they just want you, bro. <laughs> you did know his what I'm did, do you think his people done, done like felt like they got put in a trick bag? Like they didn't I get feel any that help? Way. I don't feel like it's just, I don't feel like they have that same like gusto. Yeah. Gusto that they had a couple of years ago. It's for important them, you know? for if somebody mess with you, that I come and say, yo, y'all yeah. Show's part of this right here. And yeah. so if all them people went to jail and there was nothing. He got to give them something to fight for. That's yeah, the thing. That's like, the thing. He something to fight for. He hasn't tapped into the the values that they don't feel are being spoken about enough. That's it. And if he does, they're going to come ride for him. Yeah. But if he's not doing it, then they're not going to do it. Right. What is he not saying, though? Enough. Yeah. I just not I saying think, enough, I really bro. just think people are over it. I think that that, be. that, that wave is... Kind of gone. To Chris's point, there might be one. If he or came two. out right now and he was like, "Leave the kids alone," if he just said, "Leave He's the kids alone," that. but he got to say it louder. He got to say it more. He's been saying that. He's saying if that. If we know one thing about Trump, he'll burn everything to the yeah. ground yeah, in his way. Yeah, he's Whatever gonna, there yeah. has to be said, if he thinks it's going to save him, and it's going to be fun, God. he's going to. Uh, the DNC played this shit perfect because they want him to be the front runner. Because he, he I don't still, think they want yes, to be the front they runner. want him to be the front no. runner. I'm telling you, I think because there's I, so I, many people now that, like you said, are starting to lose faith in him. So he just narrowly lost the last one. If he lost any more supporters, then he's guaranteed to lose. I don't think they want him to be the front runner. I think so. I think if he's so, you don't think it, they think he can activate him any kind of way if they put him as the front runner? No, I don't think that he can win. They don't think he can oh, win. Think he can win. So okay. they want to prop him up so he'll be the front runner that to they lose. have to go again. Yeah. In a head-to-head -head matchup, they say Trump can... Who wins in a head-to-head -head matchup now? What did the polls say? You can't Against. listen to the polls, though. The polls is always... Who gives a fuck? Yeah. So if you can't listen to the polls, then why should why do we why are we to believe Trump can't win? Because you just have to uh, look at good last point. election. Last election. He has 74 million votes. Bro, yeah, but last he wants election, attention, he, he can get it. That's yeah, the but thing. he lost... He's never out And the that's game. when he had the most support that he's ever had. Yeah. The last so, last election was also the highest voter turnout ever. You think you think seventy five million people really voted for Biden because we like him? No, yeah, they were voting, <laughs> like, they were voting like, against Trump. No, but I'm, I'm right. saying to your point but that you're saying he's still making still that voted vote for happen. Trump. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that was at the height of his people fucking with him, and you're you just said that. People aren't really fucking with him no, like that. No, I feel like people don't have the gusto to go out there and yeah. wild out. Fucking with him and I don't know about it's both. different. Yeah, yeah, is different. yeah. Okay. The gusto to go out there and wild out and get yeah. arrested and all that shit, I don't think they have that. They're there's going more, to jail. Yeah, there's but more the apathy. voting is different. I'm a little more apathy. But he could galvanize them. That's what he does. He's very good. So we're going to find out. We're going to see. We're going to see. Right, Looney, thank you for joining us, my brother. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank Make you sure so much, Subscribe man. to the thank It's you, Up There podcast we'll on the Black Effect sure, iHeartRadio podcast network. Follow. Where do you follow you at, Looney? F-O-G-F-O underscore Looney on everything. Same handle. All right. At Balls in Your Court. <laughs> At. I want to see. I'm going to be watching this. One. <laughs> This should be Act entertaining. Don't want Peace. Peace. Act don't want that. Peace, Act everyone. Don't. Act Peace. can't have those conversations. Put that shit on the Zeus Network. If y'all <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. Get it.